two, one. Pink. Go. Pink. Is it going? Yeah. Was I right? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh shit, I was right. That's not common. Um. <laughs> All right. So, back for another night of the Star Wars D and D. We still don't have a name for the group. Maybe we will eventually, and I can introduce us as such. Never. No, never. You guys are just gonna do that to me. It seems that way. Yeah, I, we've already I, done twenty six episodes. <laughs> Fuck. I thought we already did that. Wait, I thought we were the Bang Gang. <laughs> and it's those guys. Oh, no, there we go. I can introduce you as the Bang Gang. Good. That's what I'm hearing. Is that not true? I thought we were the Bang Gang. No, that you stole that name from another gang. <laughs> you actually yeah, saw them on TV one of the episodes. Yeah. Now we're the Bang Gang. Aren't they still alive? Yeah, you guys watched them check a car. That is uh -huh. ominous, isn't it? Matt, your uh, your review music has it seems to have been co-opted by other people deciding to discuss topics. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. I'm not gonna complain about others wanting to join it. If you guys want to do the review, you can do the reviews. It just didn't seem like something anybody wanted to do early on, so I started doing them. Yeah. But anyways, last session, we picked up, dealing with after you guys had dealt with some crate dragons, you were approaching Marav and one other individual, who was heavily armored with sword and shield. A... After a brief discussion talking about the situation, Shani brought up the proposition that, hey, what happens when space is empty and they wanted to go check on it? Convincing Marav to let her go, despite the events going on right now. You all decided to rush back as quick as you can to investigate the uh, Sentinel base. However, getting there, you found the doors blown open and damaged. Not blown open, cut open and damaged. People dead inside, number of damages, so... Figuring out with Billy where the important sections of the Sentinel base were, you all decided to check. And starting off in the uh, reliquary, the artifact storage of dangerous items and other such things that the Sentinels hold in the basement, basically. Getting down there, you guys ran into two captains who were looting through stuff after a brief combat, subdued them, read killed. Subdued means killed here. Yep. D&D <laughs> &D logic applies here still, despite it being in the future and civilized. <laughs> hey, civilization. This is a whole city planet. We civilized here, motherfucker. All right, all right. What? Uh, doing that checking real quick, you guys found that the... What was it called? There were six missing items, I believe I said. Yes. Did I have really any time to check due to how everything was? There wasn't really like, hey, this is convenient plaque to explain what this this device is. So you all headed back out, marking, trying to, to note the sentinels that you need to check later. While heading back up and doing finalizing checks, Sorcia started to hear some heavy banging and clanging and the floor vibrating. Before going, hey, something's happening. You guys all decided to check the prison block. Going back up, getting back in, you guys started seeing hints along the way of more sword wounds, sword slashes, getting down below, a couple people out, then the next floor had more and more, sending Tinu and uh, Billy ahead to try and slow things down if you could if they were farther see. down while the rest of the group caught up. You did. I did not. I asked him to Three find the quickest down. route down, then I said for the group to stay together, <laughs> and he ran the fuck off. <laughs> He, you told him to run ahead, and he asked if you wanted asked you if he wanted to, yeah, wanted never to stay to with ahead, the group. Friend, sorry, there is some and miscommunication I, that happened there. I asked multiple times, "Are you sure of this?" And this is the split between it. And you said yes. I asked. I was explaining the floor layout, but regardless, it might have been miscommunication in character for sure. But. Going ahead, he tried to hold... Going down, he discovered Aegis and one other individual. You guys now know as Solari. Letting a number of prisoners escape. 
through a hole in the wall. Trying to slow them down because bot programming, he's not allowed to disobey the law, so he stick with it, sticks with it. Uh, challenged them to try and slow them down, however, quite quickly proved that him alone was not quite a matchup in this case. And very quickly was disabled after throwing Tinu away. And possibly, depending how it was last seen, destroyed. You guys blew a hole in the floor, saw the situation below it, yep, that's fucked, and decided to run, because Tinu was running and there wasn't a lot you guys could do for Billy. Nobody could probably carry him, maybe, Tinu. The smallest and strongest amongst us. Yeah. <laughs> and... All of us started running back running for the elevator after Tinu played a weird game of, like, hide-and-go-seek running from somebody. And running back up, running down, running back up. Like, oh shit, they're both places. We pick up with you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. running towards the elevator. And the other two individuals heading down below. Well, one individual heading below. Um, Aegis did not come up. Okay, well, if I remember correctly, as we're going forward, if there's any amount of, like, security systems that can be activated from Mortimer's position, he's doing so, and we're trying to get the hell out of here. Uh, you already activated the security measures, at least on the bottom floor. Yeah, but as we're going back up... Trying to try to, so, trying to, um, lock up, the basically lock down the place as you get past each mark. Basically. Okay, I'll let that happen. It won't require a check. You're already inside of the security systems, I believe we said. Yeah. Just, uh, rushing. Yeah, I mean, at this point on these floors, you have to dead rush the whole way. The elevator's kind of busted a little bit on the lower bits from, you know, riots and anarchy. If people breaking out, criminals aren't exactly careful with the environment around them, are they? Does T-Log have Sato's information? Uh, personal, like, send data sled? Can I call him? Probably don't have him. You haven't really met Sato before t that day. Usually dealt with one of the other people. It was just this time it was a high enough request it went to him. The, uh, engineer man. Do you think we should contact him as I don't think he's out in combat? Is now really a good time to contact him? Kind that was the best time to contact him. If he's as good as I think he is with fixing all of this stuff, he's going to stop them from escaping since that's the, th that's the thing we want to do, right? I'll call Sato. You'll call Sato? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Probably get it on the elevator. You guys will make it to the elevator before Sato answers. Ah, uh, ah. This is a holonet opening, so you get a small hologram of him. He looks a little worse for wear. Not exactly healthy. Get it out. And you just hear a, what? Huh? What? And it's easy. you see something else duck and another bit fly through the area, like near past him. That was very, very large. What? Who? What do you need? You seem to be busy. Ah. Just a bit, and then you, something catches him and he spins. So, um, we just ran into two captains, I think. Might have a situation here. Probably. They're they in the base. Them, he's, he's gonna say, hold tight, try to slow him down, I guess, and then he's ducking again, something else looks through. This time he looks like he catches, a large clawed hand catches him and sends him backwards into something. So he's like, we'd sit Marv and Cecil back towards the base. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um, Billy's kind of been, for lack of a better word, decommissioned at this point. What? Huh? We'll fill you in later. Come on, we need to get elevator. to the entrance. Move. As soon as the elevator goes. Okay, the elevator's just been climbing with, you know, annoying elevator music in the background. Oh, shit. Oh. As always. Gotta you guys probably here. got, like I said, there we go. 
This probably took up most of the ride after you picked up and all that. My teeth hurt. Uh, opening the back up opens back up to the like uh, injury auditorium area he was in. You guys were in when you first came to it. No, this is the area you guys found the entrance to it in. Packet, I mean, not packet. Um, Mortimer triggered multiple, like, lockdown barriers as you guys passed them and got past the floors, by mm -hmm. the way. Right. So, do we want to meet Marav and them when they <clears throat> get to the entrance, or do we want to stop them from breaking out that. You guys hear a very large crash right about now. We cinematically looked in that direction. Oh, you can't see in that direction. We do not look in that direction. You just heard it. <laughs> from what we direction do we hear? Uh, judging the entrance, like judging from what you guys know, probably looks like towards the entrance of the building. That's where we're going, anyways. So. <laughs> All right, uh, heading towards the entrance. You guys aren't far off. It's only like a couple minutes, like maybe two, two and a half minutes of like. I assume you guys are running pretty quick. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. Preferably uh, as you run in, you see rushing down the hallway that heavily armored individual with his sword and Marav rushing down. Like, a little bit worse for wear. They've taken some hits. They got some wounds. They don't look exactly healthy, like, you know, poison, but they're rushing down. Hmm. Moving quick, and Marav is just like, just coming in, like, where? What's happening? Okay, so have? real quick, they got into the <clears throat> reliquary. Some things are missing there. Don't really know what. Uh, it doesn't look like we actually knew what we had. One of the prisoners that we had from the vanity that we actually took care of a while back uh, seems to have been a, mo a person of quite importance to them, who Aegis is now currently down there breaking out. Uh, at this point, a uh, blonde individual pop-up was like, do you have... But do you know where, where were they breaking out? What was the method? How are they going? The prison cell brute force, and I don't know. All right, we can check now. We can get descriptions later. Do you... Mm, are you combat? Just going to look over you guys. How do you guys look right now? Well, I'm I, worse for wear. I don't know about, like, damage-wise, but I know that most of the ability is kind of tapped for their actual abilities, including myself. Your eyes are on support, then. Keep your distance. Keep safe. That's from, that's from the wand. And he'll start, they'll take off towards the elevators. Well, now we have a fighting chance. Do we want to go back in there and kick some ass? Where's this sudden br Fuck it. Sure. I'm gonna try to get on my communicator. <laughs> we didn't have a fighting chance before. I'm gonna try to get on my common to find out where the hell Packet what, is. What, what's what he's changed? Packet, um. Guys are going down, checking with Packet. You'll get a ping of location and a brief camera feed. He's helping Sato. Okay, so he's out in the city somewhere. Yeah, uh, his uh, currently his clawed robot is missing one of its limbs, but he's helping his big scorpion bot's missing a limb, but he's helping Sato out right now. Okay. You can't, you can't see like I can. <laughs> I'll say to uh, the person who said what's changed, which I believe was Max's character. No, that was Eric. That was Chani, no, I think. No, that was me. That was you? I thought that was Chani. You guys voice oh, like you. really lined up right there. Thank you. <laughs> I've been working on my Eric impression. Oh no, Eric, she's gonna replace you. This is fine. <laughs> uh, who are you asking that to, by the way? What, see what I can, oh, that's, yeah, I see what you're saying to her source on that. Yep. I said, you can't see like I can in the force. <laughs> I don't understand what has changed still, though. Okay. He's a big bright light. He's a big bright light. We're not as bright as those lights. Side those note. guys down there um, are bigger bright lights. Important note. He's bright. As I was reading up, lights, it, like, life presence can be a thing there. Mm -hmm. He's not active in force abilities. The blonde-haired individual. That's fine. Just to so you know, for what you're saying, you would have seen that bit. His, uh, he's not actively using him. He doesn't even have them, from what you can tell. That's fine. He's still a big bright light. <laughs> what about Scary Lady? She's not big. in the base right now. Okay. Uh, I think, was it you or was it 
I think it was actually T Luck that asked about it and said she was off planet for a few days. Okay. Yep. As long as but if you had checked if you had here. checked for her, you would have found she wasn't here right now. Yeah, I already did. As long as Scary Lady is not here. <laughs> this is what you want, Scary Lady. <laughs> Why? She's on your side. Oh, Solari? No, she's not. Oh, you said Scary Lady. Normally, when you say that, you've been referring to Favome. This yeah. is no, I mean, I mean Scary Lady that once swishes head on a mantle. Oh, Solari. Yeah. Um. The big, the big fuck off Amazonian she, lady who just decks somebody. She's sure. a bit of a bigger, from what I can see, she's a bit of a bigger bright light. But with all of us combined, we might be able to take her down. From what I understand, hey. you've taken her down before, so I think we got this. Where is this confidence coming from? <laughs> Two big bright lights. So she's going okay. to look at Chani and she's going to be like, I think we, I think we should ditch him. <laughs> I think he's gone crazy. <laughs> See this? As he taps the metal on his face. I don't have eyes. Mm -hmm. So right, you well. are blind to how scary You guys have been running and talking, is. by the way. Gotcha. I figured. I, I figured that's what was happening right here. Because lady do be scary. I know. I watched. <clears throat> you just said you don't have eyes. Yes, okay. but you still glow. I'm going to send a... You just hear from them. Go on. Cecil up there. Can we shelve it for a minute? We have <laughs> bigger problems. You have no idea. <coughs> As, because about this point, with you guys running and talking, the elevator's opening down to the lower floors again. Uh, would you have had Packet open stuff back up as you get close? Or no? Yeah, I mean, the... The Mortimer, Mortimer doors sorry, are existing to help us and hurt them at the moment. Basically, open it in front of us, close it behind us, Basically. and keep auto doors for you guys. And as many yes. times as there is a, area, a chance to see what the hells we're about to walk into, <laughs> he gives it us. Uh, Mortimer has been in that for a minute. I'll say you have a... Uh, he does have a fuzzy feed popping on now from the bottom floor. He's been messing with the system, probably. But just so it's not Under one of those... Under the orders of fixed security. Just so it's not one of those, okay, open the door, close the door, close the door now, <laughs> situation. Right now it's no. From what you can tell, it looks like the two figures are busy with the uh, wall that was collapsed. Okay. You can't tell details, because like I said, it's static and fuzzy from damage, but he got at least a vague picture. <clears throat> gotcha. Uh, running down, moving, moving ahead. Are you guys going down the stairs or just saying fuck it and jumping down the hole? Because I know Mrav and Blonde are going to jump down the hole. You take a lot longer to go around, so I'm just jumping down the hole. I'm going to go down the hole safely and help somebody else do so with any variety of my tips and tricks that I have for getting down sheer I mean, you safely. can just drop and, like, Grapple sling to slow your momentum and keep it going forward. Basically. Sorsha's gonna grappling hook down. Yes. Nima, make an acrobatics if you're just gonna jump down, because that is still a hefty jump down. I can help yeah. someone. <laughs> if they don't have their own way. Yeah, but don't have my... nobody's been telling me. If you're jumping down without assistance, I'll, I just want an acrobatics to see how well you make this jump. And land it. 16. You're good. I'm just gonna You take down. two damage from fall. Because you drop 15 feet. Two damage. My acrobatics is an 18 on the die. You're good. You take two damage as you fall. Oh. But you're not knocked pro. Or take six. <laughs> yeah. Nima, are you jumping down or are you gonna. Not Nima. T uh, Tinu, are you just gonna jump with Chani? You're the only one left, I think. Is Tenu catch up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tenu caught up. You guys let him in the elevator, I assume. Take my hands off. Oh, he's gonna take the bomb out of his mouth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been running with a bomb this whole time in your mouth. Okay. Hey. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, anyway, he just witnessed it. <laughs> Foot tall little guy can sit on Chani or Sorsha's shoulder. Everything's fine. 
God damn, they're really sucking at the rolls to clear this rubble. How are the well, blasters you going? Know what on <laughs> the blasters! The blasters are broke! Well, at least they tried. <laughs> they tried. You... As you guys are dropping oh, yeah. down, uh, Aegis's coat is really singed and, like, burnt up. And he's looking at it okay. currently, like, just really annoyed looking through some of the holes in it. He's got Billy's caps. Yeah, you still got his hat. There's Billy's corpse, by the way. Um, along the way, if you'll allow me to do this, I would have liked to have sent Packet a command to find some method of armed transportation and head to the rough coordinates of where the fuck that hole is. For um, the hole down here or the hole for the dragons? The hole down here. So, like, if he can... AI command over to the ship and take control of one of our things or find access to a random tie that somebody doesn't want anymore then it's a nice thing to have on the other side of the hole um if it's a hole okay. to the opening okay if he can manage it if he can't that's fine okay uh he'll you'll put the coordinates of the hole basically hey something in this area is letting people out bring weapons because you don't have like you don't have the blueprints yeah. right now Okay. Just GPS. I will have that in there. So as soon as he's not, you know, being fucked up by a dragon, which at this point they probably take care of if they have. You get a, uh, just, uh, orders, uh, just basically confirmed, uh, making efforts towards it. If nothing else, it can be our get out of your quick scheme. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's fun. You have Sato with him, too. That's actually good to think about. Let me roll something real quick since you said that. Okay. On the way, you guys would have done down there. Probably just about as guys are getting through the hole, you get the ping of on the way. Okay. Assuming you sent that back towards, like, the elevator and starting of this area. Yeah. Uh, Brav and the Bond Aired are not really talkative right now. As soon as they drop down, they start to go for it. At this point, as you guys are dropping down, you watch as some of the rubble finally clears. And Solari starts to turn around and go. And at this point, Aegis actually puts a hand on her shoulder as she goes to step forward. And just, just hear him. No. You need to go. You've already caused enough problems with this all today. Fail another persuasion check there, friend. <laughs> And she looks very annoyed and gives him just a, like a, uh, huh, a scoff and turns and angrily starts stomping down the hall, the opening. And he will turn back to the rest of you. Marav and Blonde slowing down. Fuck it, I wait. Very wary. <laughs> so... Is he the source of the fucking uh, thing I saw? The, the yellow? Wound in the force? <laughs> oh, the know? twisted thing? Yeah. yeah, looking at him, he's not particularly heavy in presence. But it's broken and twisted. And every time you look at something, you're like, oh, there's a fraction. You realize it just goes deeper and it gets worse as you go deeper and deeper. Again, I wait. He doesn't have a lot of wide presence, but he has depths in his presence. And it's a little disturbing. Okay. He's the fathomless. I got it. I don't know what that means. It's a new patron. Nope. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. I see what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> so, shall we do this peacefully, or do we need to make another re reoccurrence of that bot? Um, Robin, blonde, uh, blonde here. Still have a weapons out. Start to prove forward. If you've already done enough, basically, they have blonde hair. Starts walking forward. If you've entered, you've, you ran in today. You've rusted out. You've broken the law. You will not be leaving. Rob just is just very stoic now that combat started. Not very talkative. Do any of you have any replies, or shall we roll initiative? As it looks like Cecil and Rob are going to start in on him. May I ask how it would end peacefully? Seems you them two were uh, gearing to go. <laughs> you don't have to assist. You can leave peacefully. 
I say we leave. <laughs> He's ignoring the two slowly approaching him right now and staring at you guys. That's, uh, concerning. If he's ignoring them, that means he's more powerful, at least in his own mind. Where'd all the confidence go? <laughs> <laughs> that was before he got the up close and personal of this guy. Also, confidence is fine. I'm still confident that if all of us are here, we might stand a chance. But I'm letting you know, if we leave, those two might die. Wait, what do? Marab, Marab and, and Cecil are with you. Cecil. Cecil. Well, if you don't know he's Cecil, but... They probably well, do know he's no, Cecil, I, actually. Yeah, no, um, Sato told you guys that Cecil and Ralph were heading your way. I also know him because I introduced myself to him. And he said hello. Yeah, but he didn't give you his name, I don't think. He did. Did he? Yep. Shit. There you go. It was just before I looted a fucking crate dragon of spit. Okay. Anyway. Anything else for you guys? Are you guys going to start moving away, or shall we roll initiative? I'm not moving away. I will follow Chani's lead. We've been through a lot today. I know, we all have. But... We have to put fear aside in this moment. I understand that they're not exactly the one causing all the problems here, but... We can't let intimidation stop us from trying to stop them. I will let intimidation the hat stop me. Bomb in my hand. You gonna what? He's gonna hop off her shoulder and hide underneath his hat the bomb in my hand. <laughs> okay. Alright. Don't know what he's doing. Sorsha is going to move behind the shirtless man. Because he had so much confidence. Okay. <laughs> that's a choice. A choice I don't think you're willing to make, but that's a choice. I made that choice. <laughs> Good luck. Aegis will, um, just get a frown on his face and so be it. Roll initiative. Shit. I rolled the wrong fucking... Something sounded magical. What the fuck was that? <laughs> That was my wife sitting in the room next to me when she should be in the other room doing the thing she's doing. <laughs> I was there sudden magic noise. She yeah, magic she's got girl? weird shit on her phone. Okay. She's okay. mad. Yeah, that works. She's yeah. getting ready to go with like a magic girl transformation. I understand. She knows it's time for combat. Something's happened to Chinese initiative rolls. <laughs> Alright. Everybody ready? 25 to 20. 24. Oh, I haven't rolled yet. Hold on. 24 for uh, Chani there. Right? Yeah. Okay, I uh, understand. That roll, I just saw her face. Oh shit, I need to roll one more. Hold on. Oh shit. What's your modifier? Me? For Chani? Plus five. Shit. Okay. Twenty-two, you said? Or me? Uh, T lock? Yep. No, twenty. Twenty. I mean, same difference in this case. Twenty to uh, twenty to fifteen. Oh, Eighteen. Oh, I was about to say, oh no. <laughs> we need more people than just the two of us. <laughs> it's versus one, and I think that he probably has a loaded initiative, so it's not really gonna matter. Well, he has a decent bonus, and normally it's. Yeah, but fuck. I rolled three of them and he got the best. Is that the best? Eh? Eh? <laughs> 15 to 10. Don't win in 15 okay. to 10? I'm not happy about that. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> okay! 10 to 5? 7. All right, solid and solid addition. Max. Yes, I got four. All right, all right, we're my doing good. My thing is plus three. Yep. Get the net one out of the way. So, it's okay. Up first, because fuck. Of all the ones that had to roll high, it had to be him. Of course. 
stages. Who again? Surges in the force. Draws his sword. And waits. Johnny, you're up. I say he surges in the force. Only t -Lock really do he surges in the force. Free action happens no, no, on no. any what's turn, his, what's right? What's it called? Um, t and Sorcia would have felt the surge in the force. And talk. Yeah, if you have something, I generally am pretty open about when you say it. Careful, he's doing something. That's all I'm saying. Sorcia says nothing. It's wrapping ground hit, by the way. Force is being weird around him. What? Well, let's see here. I have yeah. the power to do exactly nothing about that. So. I just want to make is sure Sorcia is, is still, still behind like, the shirtless oh. man, correct? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure, this man has not. You moved. guys, uh, I'll say you guys are probably about seventy feet off from Aegis. The front row seventy, we'll just say seventy for everyone, roughly right now. Eighty for Sorcia because she's hiding behind T Lock. Well, I've got to hold two uses of spells here, so I need to be careful. So, not great. How far away is he? Aegis from you? Yeah. Seventy. Seventy. For me, I think it's also 70. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've never used this thing before. So I have this neat sniper rifle. Blow him up! You have this what? I have this sniper, sniper rifle. rifle. Okay. Isn't that the... I know what that is. I've never used it before. <laughs> but I have extra attack for some unholy reason. Yep. And I want to use the spell for a very particular purpose. And if he's doing something fucky... The very particular purpose wouldn't make any sense, so I need to hold off on it. So just pow pow. Uh two attacks, the la, da, 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 da. Oh, shit. the lower of the one is A twenty six. Um Both hit. Okay. It's going to be 15 and 13 piercing damage for 28 total. 28 total damage. All right. As you level your... Is it the Night Stinker for you? Yeah. An odd flicking rifle to most people here. Besides maybe... Um, only really... I think Nima would know what this one is. It's not a common thing. Chani levels and fires two things, and you don't really even see anything fire from it, but you see two things impact Aegis's uh, chest area on his jacket as they burn holes through him, through it. He's, uh, pretty unmoving. I don't have anything oh, I forgot. flavor for my bonus action at this point in time. What'd you forget? I forgot to do something there. Oh. Uh, you had disadvantage on those, but oh. I forgot, so we'll let that go. Okay. I forgot. That's the penalty for me forgetting. All right. Maybe I won't in the future if I do this. <laughs> well, uh, gonna go ahead and go about fifteen feet back. Back up. I understand. Just not to be as in stabbing range. Well, immediate stabbing that's range. Fair. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, everything for you then? I think it's T lock. James? Okay. Making sure I got heard. You know how it goes. I know. Well, hopefully the internet will stop that from happening. Currently. The running away begins. Of course, the running um, away Aegis begins. Aegis is looking. Aegis is again looking very annoyed as his jacket now has more holes in it. I would like to tempt fate. Okay. And cast shock. <laughs> Roll hit. And it is disadvantage, correct? It is disadvantage. It's okay. I rolled a natural 20 and a 14, so 24. <laughs> and this is a cantrip, right? Yes. You watch as it rockets forward, gets about 
maybe an inch or two away and then just psh, scatters across nothing. I knew it! <laughs> Said out loud. <laughs> Do you want to give a quick rundown of what you knew? <laughs> Is he not actually here again? You'll have to try much harder than that, I'm afraid. Careful on your force powers. They don't like working. And that's my action to cast that. I'm going to move up. Hmm. Brave boy. He is 70 feet away. How far? Yep. I'll move up 30. Okay. Boring. You are now 40 feet away from him. That's fine. <laughs> Anything else with your bonus action? Uh, I can't do bonus action things yet. Didn't know. You might have quicken. I have no idea. I do, but <clears throat> I'm, low on those. I'm low on those. Tinu, you're up. Medina. Um. I got you food. I got food earlier. One second, guys. What? I think a creature requires sustenance. I gotta, uh, no, I, I, gotta, I gotta send some money. All right, keep uh, Nima. You'll be the next player up. Start thinking about what you want to do. Like I'm, gonna yeah. I'm gonna go have uh, Cecil and Rav go while he's deciding that. Then, just to keep things flowing. Next time, he'll return back to normal initiative. Cecil going first, running forward, pulling out. Just not pulling out. Swords already out. Kite shield in hand. Uh, too easy with martial training. So T lock. T lock. Uh, I'll say Nima since he's seen a lot of um, weaponry in use. <laughs> the shield is very awkward in his hands. Okay, I'm good now. And he's gonna Person roll his attacks. I sent seven. It just looks a little awkward. Like it, it's not that he doesn't know what he's doing. It's maybe like he's just not well practiced in this method. Let's see, it's like uh, how to put it, rigid. Like it's doing the forms properly. And like how they should be practiced, but not how they should be used in combat. Oh great, we have an initiate. What the fuck's he doing here? What's he doing for this confidence? Uh, sword swings through. First one, force surge slash comes down. As it comes down, hits. Uh, it just parries it with a sword. Second one comes through. I it just like just you. glides out of the way as it misses, and then he turns, back slashes, and the sword just comes right across and digs into uh, Aegis' stomach. Never mind. Never mind, he's got three attacks. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Don't remember who you're fighting. Dealing that much damage. They just say it's like, well, at least somebody's having some fun with this. Hello. Rob is we'll have Tenu go now before Rob goes. I don't remember. Tenu. Okay. Yep. Um, how, how, 70 feet. How, how far is everybody else? How, uh, Everybody's how right next to you in. except for T-Lock and Shani. T-Lock's about 30 feet ahead of you and Shani's about 15 feet behind you. How big does, how big does the smoke screen cover? Not a lot. Uh, I think it's like a 15 foot radius. You have five of those, right? Yeah, I believe I gave you five. Was it five or was it three? Because I thought I had three smoke and two explosives. Please don't smoke screen to one enemy. <laughs> Granted disadvantage on it. That's right, five total because you have tiny uh, frame. So three smoke, two explosive. And you use your two explosives to bring down the wall. Sorry, it was five total. Oh, yeah, I, you have three. I, no, no, I ended up having, no, I had three explosives, two smoke. That's what it was. Either way, however you had to split, you used up two explosives, you have the rest of them left. So I'm gonna 
scoot back 15 feet. Okay. Pop a smoke. On you? Yes. Okay. That is an action was... to pop a smoke. Oh, I thought I just didn't need my keys. And gonna pop my MVGs on. Oh, your night vision? Yep. Oh, uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's thermal vision. That's what you want. Yeah. So, flicking thermal vision on. You see... see. Yeah, Chani, you're in the radius too. Unless he backed completely in a different direction to avoid you. Probably not given the situation. Who is within range? Uh, you can see everybody, but uh, he's sending pictures on everybody, but you can't see Cecil or Aegis right now. Are too far away? Shit. They are too far away. You have a 60 oh, wait, foot I... limit on your goggles. Ah, damn it. I forgot. <laughs> now nah, I'm blind. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> yep, you see everybody but Aegis and Cecil, though. Ah, damn. <laughs> I think that's all I can do right now, because uh, using the um, ex using the smoke as an action, correct? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Alright, all right. Uh... nothing else then. Back down to Marav. You guys watch when Marav's lumbering, like, starting his heavy stepping forward. He's not a light, light tiger guy. He's going to make his three attacks. Let's see if he has better luck. This. Oh, that's a double ones. Ooh, that's not good. So, so you guys watch as he brings the first one down as Aegis was busy covering from being stabbed in the gut. And it just crashes down onto his shoulder. Notably, it doesn't burn, but maybe a small bit into Aegis' shoulder before he slips backwards and out of it for the most part. But it still hits hard and sends him stumbling down. And then the second one, he's seeing it coming, wide swing in front, it just leans back the rest, stands up, leans back out of the way, it misses, and as Marov swings down for the third strike, it just swings out the parry and cuts the hilt in half. And Marov is now down to one sword. God damn it, Marov. <laughs> and to him, it just, just turn and go, shame, you had such a promise last I saw. I'm going to punch you. That brings it to Nima. You're up 70 feet away. You are cutting, cutting out. out. Can you hear me now? For now. Yep. Okay. First things first. I am running forward 30 feet. All right. Okay. Oh, hello. You want to be? I... You? Yeah, you're right next to T-Lock. Bonus action, which I can believe I can take first. I'm going to throw a point of aptitude at Cecil. Inspiration. Okay. <laughs> Inspiration. With action, I'm a two. Uh, I just, just for flavor, just for some flavor, how, how would you like to do your port and aptitude? <clears throat> Think about this. Let's see. Put an aptitude gives you something. It's like a bardic anything. inspiration, but it's not bard. It's not hey, it's take this and do better. <laughs> basically, yeah. If you don't have it for right now, it's fine. Just it was some for flavor. I will think about this and get back to you later. Okay. And I'll you're gonna take a shot. You said. I'll take a shot. I'm gonna do sonic shots. So if he shot. moves, he takes damage. Roll to hit. Disadvantage. I might if you have disadvantage, I know you do. Because yeah, yeah. he did some. Mm, excuse me, sorry. 21. You go to raise, aim, shoot. And as you aim, as you level, he looks dead in as you start the fire, weaves to the side, and you watch as it just <laughs> whiffles through his collar. 
then I'm gonna use my close call thing, and I think I can use that. Yes, I can. Spend one of my potion aptitude dies. Okay. It rolls to make it hit. Let's see, does a uh, what's your bonus? Twenty. It's a plus five. So to a twenty. Six. Uh, six. I think a twenty-one, twenty-six. Yeah. Uh, as you like try to use the adjustment for your uh, like a quick rapid recovery shot, basically, you aim fire again, and this time he just brings his sword up, and you hear a ping. No, you. It's a laser bolt. You just he brings the sword up, and it just and dissipates the laser out of the air. I see. Hmm. Sorsha, you're up. How far away am I? You are seventy-five feet away. Am I still behind Shirtless Man? No, Shirtless Man ran. Well, you're behind him in positioning, but Shirt Shirtless Man's about 35 feet in front of you. Could I get sneak attack from him? If you want to get sneak attack, you're going to have to aim. And you're probably going to have to use your saber. No, she could move forward some and use long range. But, no, no, because um, she has two people. He has two people flanking him. Remember? Yeah, but she still needs to get that one die roll and negate the disadvantage. Nah, man, I'm going to use insightful. That's fight. true. Well, even if you have insightful fighting, disadvantage still means you can't get your sneak attack this round. But next round, you could aim and do it. So if you want to sneak attack him now, you've got to aim and then use your saber. I think that's the only thing with a 90 foot single range increment that you have, unless you've got a different toy that I don't know about. What if I move forward a little bit? And, and you can't, you can't aim. Be able to aim. Aim has the requirement of you can't, you cannot have moved, or you and you cannot move afterwards. But if I move up a little bit, I won't be in disadvantage. You will because not be, it's you're not disadvantaged because you're ranged. You're at disadvantage because of an action Aegis took. Oh. Yeah. That said, that's though. pretty well. You guys have been seeing. He's been dodging like a motherfucker. You can Is ruin aim his day. If you don't a miss. bonus action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can't use my insightful fighting. But if time. you aim, you will still get sneak attack because you have two allies flanking and attacking. Mm -hmm. Come on, Saber, I adjusted you fucking work this time. <laughs> if you aim, you will get sneak attack this time. It'll be a flat roll. Okay. But you cannot move afterwards. For this round. Next round, you can move again. That's okay. I still have two two people blocking me. Yeah. Four, technically. Yeah. Four. Four people blocking me. I know, I know Marav and Cecil aren't really important, but it's okay. Ouch. Ouch. I'm just gonna haste the big tiger, man. Yes, Cowboy is. Doing bad. Also, I can't see shit. Nope, you can't see anything. I am blank. Because there is just smoke. Why? And you're so like, why? <laughs> exactly. I don't remember what my damage was for my saber. It's a D4. Plus sneak attack. It's a dagger. It just has a really but you have a range. 90 foot range, and you can just snake that shit Ooh. wherever you want it. 90 feet. Okay, I will. I will aim, and I will do that. Come on, do Burr. good. <laughs> Roll one to hit. I didn't hit. What'd you roll? I got 12. Total. As you aim, you say, you see a moment, you launch it, rolling forward. It snakes out, curves, goes to hit down, and he just, like, tidy, like, like, buddy hop as he's in the middle of dissipating a blaster bolt back, and it just crashes into the ground at his feet. As you try to, like, make a, a go forward, up, straight down into him, kind of catch him off guard. And the thing snaps back to you. Cool. Well, if you want it to snap back, you can have it stay there, technically, with how this works. I don't think you do. I don't want it to. That's probably a good idea. That guy has a really sharp to grab sword. It. <laughs> that too. You don't want to go for a ride? That's okay. No. Uh, it's all Sorcerer's turn then. Back to Aegis. You are 85. You are 40, 0, 0, 40. What is the range on that power? Incoming save. Maybe. I am mute. Uh, that is not great. Where is that? I can't tell you the power because I don't want you guys to know the power. <laughs> Does it make it any better that if I tell you that if you tell me the name, I still won't know what it is? 
You won't, but somebody else will just go like, I'm gonna go look for it. Somebody will. I would only look for it to help you. Line. I want... Let's get a sec. See, look! Nima, you both need to make saves for me. You need to make constitution saves. I want you At to tell me the level of it as I snap my fingers. 30. What are you casting? Sever force. Fuck you. Go away. Roll an ability check. Roll an ability oh, check. I know. Yeah, that's a 20. And then you stick out your <laughs> Okay. <laughs> as he goes to, like, you watch him just gesture forward with hand, you hear it go, and then flicker. He's just, again, he's like, hmm. <laughs> well, that's inconvenient. He's going to quick and cast it again. No, he can't do it again. I'm kidding. I can do that too! Don't fucking test me, motherfucker! <laughs> you can't cast that many high levels in a row, sadly. I know. No, he can't, I'm saying. I um, can! <laughs> well, no, you can't cast two high levels over this level in the same turn without fighter levels. Oh. Which is stupid! Nah. Balancing. Remember, it's second funny. and one other LVD level you want. It, I'm being nice already. It from fighter is the stupid part. Action search. I know. The, the fact wonderful. that you can do that from fighter, it's stupid. Anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter. Time and place is for um, Let's get this going. <laughs> I'm just trying to... I'm looking at his shit to see what he has. He doesn't have a lot of bonus actions, actually. Um, like the bonus action, eat a med pack. <laughs> bonus action, cry. And we all look at him like... <laughs> Some of his dead. wounds seal. We all look Some at of his him wounds like seal. Dead. Actually, most of the damage you guys dealt to him sealed. That's a <laughs> hell of a med pack. <laughs> you guys actually haven't done a lot of damage to him. I, I point out, a lot of these aren't phasing him. We're doing much to him. I mean, turn one, Chani did 26 damage to him. So did 28. Did and as I said, it hit and didn't do a lot to him. He had virtually no reaction to it. Fair enough. That was a lot of points I just Translation. Used. It's not doing what you think it's not doing what you think it should do. Uh, Trying to you're up. You All are right. blind well, and in uh, smoke. For some reason I'm covered in smoke. I get I get very I would like more. to stop me Shit. in the smoke cloud. You have to walk forward about fifteen feet. Okay. Or to the side. Don't step on the one foot tall man. I'll go Are ahead. you going forward or to the side? I'll go to this side. I don't really know how big this room is. Are you going away from the tall man you saw before he popped smoke? The short man? Uh, Johnny's just going to step to her left. I don't know what side he did. Let me roll a die. You don't run into a small stubby thing on the ground. Trip fall. And you step out of the smoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as well, glorious as that would have been. Well, ah, why? Uh, all right. Looking back, actually, now that you're there, looking back, he doesn't have a lot of stuff. He doesn't seem to have the damage. Like the bull, you shot him twice. Those wounds are not there now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh. I have eleven force points left. <laughs> I've got a whole two uses of spells here. Okay, I'm trying to think. <laughs> right. Same. Same, actually. Yeah, that, that could work out. Sorsha! Yeah? Have a haste needle. Wow. Well. Ow! Oh. I'm so much faster now. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You hear, Sorsha! Have a haste needle! As everything speeds up. <laughs> nice. It's Who's right next to her? Sorsha's at 75 feet. Uh... If anybody look back and just look at the other, you just watch Sorsha's eyes just dilate. <laughs> and then, also with Sorsha, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and inspire. Just like, you got this. Thank you. You have a D6 inspiration. You know you can ability check, saving throw, attack this. You can add a D6 to that one time. Sick. And more importantly, she can move at the speed of sound, fire off an Arlo burst. And then do whatever the fuck she wants with her extra bonus action. For extra action? Uh-huh. That's me. 
All right. T Lock, you're up. This is gonna As be Chani's weird. just, you just hear, you just Chani's going on her little bit. You just hear that, and there you go. This is gonna be weird, but I want to be 30 feet away from Aegis, but move okay. my full movement diagonally. Start to circle. So you're not lined up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll put you 30 feet away at a diagonal to the left or to the right. Basically, do you want to go to Mrav or Cecil? Cecil's not fucking up as bad as Marav is. Cecil. <laughs> okay, you're behind Cecil, roughly. <laughs> Just because he's on an angle, it's easy to line you up with stuff. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, is the ability that he is making us have disadvantage on a force, power, or ability? I think it's called the dodge action. You don't know. I don't see anything. I didn't see anything when you he see. You saw the force wrap around him, but you don't know what it's doing. Okay. I will burn four more points. <laughs> and cast Force Suppression on him. Uh, let me check something real quick. That is Dispel Magic. I know, but I have to check something. I was just making sure. You want to upcast that, just in case? Uh, it will cost four points. <clears throat> and I don't have a lot of those to spare anymore. Okay, is that, is that level of the spell? But... Fuck it, make it a fourth level. <sighs> okay, making it a fourth level? Yep. Your character knows wizard things and how they are sometimes newly like that. He would, yes. He can always put a little bit of force in. The problem is, is he goes, reaches out, and straight, straight into you. You watch the the impact, and then dissipates. As you try to like, you try to force whatever's happening, <laughs> force whatever's happening to him off, or to suppress or something. But as you try to, you just feel like as it hits, it won't hit. It's at a frictionless surface, and then it just starts to dissipate and blow, shear off. And now I know what he cast on himself. Or at least at some part. Bitch. Yep. But. He's just gonna look over at you and smile. Oh, you can't see him. Oh no, you're within 30 feet. You can see him smile at you. Bitch. <laughs> um. That was my action. Uh, what bonus action things do I have? I don't even know. That's an action. That's an action. 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 That's cool. Awesome. I have no bonus actions. Fuck. Uh... Find a nearby gel rat. Consume it for hate. For, consume it for health points. I don't have any more of those either for bonus actions. Shit. Bonus action, give him the middle finger. That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's rude. <laughs> Just because you can't make the attempt right doesn't mean you have to be rude to me. I'd have to drop my saber to do both middle fingers. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, no, you can just, like, roll one finger, middle finger off of the saber from your hold. Sure. <laughs> Ah, like no, that is good to know. Two. <laughs> that is good to know. I misread something. But that's what for future you, stuff. What did you you off? You've, no. That's all your churn? Tunu, you're up. Sorry, man. They change the wording on this shit all the time. I know. That's fine. <laughs> is he within 60 feet of me now, or is he still missionary? Uh, He is still 85 feet away from you. He has not moved at all. Okay. I'm oh, fine. I'm gonna... <sighs> I'm gonna come out of the smoke. That guy goes off. 15 feet forward? Turn him off. To the 15 feet forward or just moving to the side? 15 feet. Move. Move to the side. Who's in front of me? Who's in. Moving to the side? Nobody's directly in front of you besides maybe Marav, who's point blank at him. Actually, which way are you going? 
to I move to my left. It's just gonna be um. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> you stumble out of the crowd and run into a metallic leg, and you're like, huh! look up. Oh, it's Johnny. <laughs> and instead of using that skill, I'm going to use. All right. What are you doing? Hello. I'm looking at you. Another one up. Oh, can shut up, Robert. Can use it on him. Oh, my skill instruct. You attempt to find a weakness in your target, make an intelligence check against his deception. Check succeeds. The only creature makes an attack roll against the target when it hear you. You need your reaction to grant them advantage on the roll. Do so, they okay. get they do additional damage equal to your bonus investigation. He makes a deception check? Against, against your intelligence target. check? Mm -hmm. That sounds like insightful fighting to me. It is, but he doesn't get to add proficiency because it's just an intelligence check. Plus, it's only once and it's not for a minute. Oh, nice Alright, I'll roll. I can investigation oh. check. Well, still roll investigation check, but it still lasts only for once rather than a full minute. Okay, what'd you roll? 27. Cool. Uh, he doesn't really have an opening you can find right now. Oh. Every time you start to see one, he ducks and is covered by Mrav or Cecil because they take up a decent bit of space. Be... Sure he is an action. Well, when you take the attack. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah. So you can still make an attack, it's just you don't get advantage. I have all of that. The bonus action is the two uses thing. Oh. So roll you to hit if you're gonna hit still, because you might had to take the attack action. Oh shit! I read a thing wrong. Cool. Welcome to the club. What's here to hit? For your uh, well, healing gonna... team. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna uh, cast. Uh... Yeah, you have Fire. to. You, this no, you've already made the attack. This is part of the attack. That's what that does. That, that's, what, that, that's what you're saying there, I is it's part of the to... attack action. No, 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 no. I was, no, was going to use the, the weapon ability as well for a roll. Okay, that that's different, sorry. I thought you were trying to do something else. There is... Oh, I forgot they had properties. <laughs> Are you talking about the dire slash vicious whatever you have on there? Yep. So you're going to take a minus for the dire for a plus to damage? Mm -hmm. Minus one. Minus one. That'd be 20. Uh, he's a good fire. He just, the last second, leans back some into the side and it pff, hits the wall behind him. Actually, he probably skids off into a tunnel because the tunnel's behind him. Jesus. Side note, it was not at disadvantage, so that was a normal roll. Wait. <laughs> yeah. You got your bonus action and 15 feet of movement left. Going back into the smoke. Back into the smoke. Peely, 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 peely. <laughs> All right, Cecil's gonna swing. He got an inspiration die. It's a D8 for you, correct? Yeah. Nima. A D8. All right, he's gonna rotate around so he's behind. He's got Marav between him. Uh, so Aegis is between him and Marav, so he can get advantage. Smart boy. That's a miss. <laughs> Fucking damn it. That's a hit. That's critical. Minute. We're here. Yeah! <laughs> and actually, he's just gonna say, fuck it. This has already proved a danger. One round, and he almost, he's basically still perfectly healthy. He's gonna action surge. Fuck yeah! Hit. <laughs> Hit. Hit. I'm still banking on Sorsha. <laughs> so you watch as Cecil rolls behind, and. I got confidence in my girl. First one comes through, misses. But as he starts to adjust, he just leans back on one foot, and suddenly Cecil starts to, for just a brief moment, blur his in, and just five more strikes in near instant. One at each one hitting a new slash and angle, cutting into Aegis pretty heavily. And you see, for the first time, somebody is drawing blood on Aegis. Ha! <laughs> and you watch him stumble back. 
with a look of surprise of... Hmm. That's a very new one. That I has not I happened in haste. quite some time. I wish I had haste. I would haste the fuck out of that man. <laughs> I'm banking on source. That's fine. Do try harder, though. And now it's Ralph's turn. Who now has advantage on his twos as he grips his one with two saber. His saber with two hands. That's a hit. critical, actually, on Marav. That's a hit on Marav. As Marav just brings one blow crashing down. And it just... Almost more like a club than a saber for this, just so you guys can know. Don't Slams me. into the, like, back shoulder like blade area of Aegis and he stumbles down under the force and as he tries to set up Marav just brings it back and brings it down again and Aegis starts to bend down almost going to a knee but still doesn't <sighs> and that's all Marav's true can't do a lot with his bonus action And at this point, you guys see Aegis is actually scowling at that one. He starts to, like, rotate his shoulder some as he stands up. As you see two heavy burn marks on his back, even if they didn't go deep. They're still probably, like, third-degree burns. Nemo, you're up! I'm currently 40 feet away from Aegis. Yep. I will move forward 10 feet. So I am okay. 30 feet away. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And another bonus action is so section. You're cutting out. I said I got bonus section on you, so so shots. Is that just me no. or is that everybody? It's, no, he's everybody. cutting out real bad. Come on, Discord, you can do it. Um Say there we go quickly. <laughs> Didn't do no! it fast enough. Damn it. Leave and rejoin. Right, can you hear me now? For now. Yes, oh, I can. God. Holy shit. I'm take a sonic shot with a booming strike again. Adam. Roll to hit. It's a normal roll. Normal roll? Oh. Yeah. You did not get to take the dodge action this time. Yay. That's for one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I can um, roll that because of my race. Now. And I did. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a 19, yeah, he, it's a critical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll damage normally. <laughs> roll damage you don't normal. double the dice. You don't double the dice on this one. D4 plus D6 plus D6. It's a lot of stuff, but you don't get... Uh, this yeah. is... Fuck. I'm and he's big like constitution saving throw. What's the DC? He passes, never mind. <laughs> There's a limit to what his DC can be. <laughs> 19 damage. Okay. Do you want me to split it up? Uh, it's Sonic and Energy, right? Yes. So yes, split the two, please. Okay, it's a D4 of Energy. For how much? Actually, not a That's... D4. Sorry. I, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's what was your three energy damage? Plus six energy, so it's nine energy. Plus your seven. extra D six from your rate from your class is also energy, by the way. Yeah, that's why I'm adding the six. Okay, I'm making sure. So, so the energy six, bolt seven, doesn't six, seem to energy. like. Yep, yeah, like with the other things, the energy bolt doesn't seem like it's doing what it should. But the sonic doesn't seem to be inhibited any. I don't want to interrupt. Three sonic. But I think. Hmm. I don't want to interrupt. I, you did I, think, I think you did your math wrong, because you also add your uh, modifier to that. Yeah. It's energy. Yeah. Did you do that? So okay. that's sixteen. Mm hmm. Nine plus seven, sixteen. And then I rolled yep. a two and a one for my booming strike and my sonic shot. Okay. Actually. No, that's right. That's right. So you have three sonic damage, and then <clears> the <throat> other is energy. And as you, as he's rolling his shoulder and trying to get back up, he actually rolls his shoulder and you just shoot him in the elbow mid roll and he just, ah! <laughs> and looks down at it. Turns back to you. What All was right. that? 
with a genuine look of confusion of what was that? Like, what the fuck? My elbow, bud? <laughs> it's numb now. <laughs> that was supposed to hurt more. <laughs> did it. Anyways, next up, uh, you have your bonus action still, actually. I do have a bonus action, but I don't have anything I can use. With okay, Sorsha. Goddamn fucking. Mm. Also, at the start of your turn, as an Inquisitor, I would like you to make an insight check. Remember, you have your minimum 8 on the dice roll with insights. Yeah. Okay. Unless it's a natural one. Because then we do that for fun. Unless you're a monkey one. thing. Okay. I mean, He's heavily stalling, as you could probably guess. From the body language, you can see he has no intention of staying here past a certain point. Is there something gonna explode? You don't know that. All you know is he's stalling for time, and you can see with how he's fighting, he has zero intention of actually staying for a prolonged fight. So what exactly does the thing that Chani shot me with do? Make so when you're fast. hasted, your movement is doubled, so your base movement is now 60. Yeah, yeah. You have an extra action that you can use to do Attack, dodge, dash, disengage, that kind of thing. Yeah. Spells. No, no spells. spells don't work on the hasted action. It specifies. I know, it's that's very specific. Weird. That's stupid. Am I allowed to use my new things without the long rest, or do I have to wait till the long rest to use them? Uh, the powers in that, you'll, the new powers you'll have to wait till the long rest for. Yeah, the haste is going to help uh, your martial your, stuff. Your points, yeah, your points will be there and your health will be there, but everything else has to wait until the long rest. Cool. So, am I still in disadvantage or not? Nah? No. Uh, you are at seventy-five feet. It depends on what weapon you're using. I wish to do uncanny dodge. What? Uncanny dodge is a reaction uh, when you take damage. Not uncanny. Insightful fighting. I okay. Know why I Insightful that. fighting. That you can do. Roll an insight check. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're all right. It's been a bit since you've had to do combat properly. Uh I'm in a bad position to roll Because, well, let's be real, the You're captain fine. fight didn't last long. I got nat 20. Woo. Yay! Well, sh shit. Yeah, fuck you, man. Uh, what's your bonus? <laughs> Eight. It's He's magic. a very stonewalled man, I'm sorry. It's okay, He's surrounded as fuck. Go stab him. <laughs> Yeah, just move up to the 40. I'm sorry. Arlo this is... is the only critical I've rolled on him tonight. Yeah, fuck you. Ouch, I'm sorry. I just gave my, like, three criticals to him earlier against him. Mm -hmm. I'm so... Good, guys. I forgot they had the I mean, plus if... 10 from my sniper rifle earlier. <laughs> Next time. Yep. So, Sorsha is going to run as close as she can get to him with... What? Matt yeah, is gone. Matt's not on the thing. God damn it! I I will say this. I think Arlo's range increments will not give you advantage if you move up your full movement. She's got double movement. I know. She's she's. I I. I that's what I'm saying. She's got the whole fucking. She can move up sixty feet to where she is twenty five feet away from him. No, because she's eighty five feet away. <laughs> I can move up. I'm back. Hi. I know. You can move up to where you're 25 feet away and then blow his ass away with Arlo and sneak attack. Arlo has a 40 foot range. Yeah. I'm just saying if she moves up her full movement, she'll be 25 feet away. No, uh, she moves up her full movement, she'll be 15 feet away because she's 75 now. Hey, Max doesn't want to be that close. Oh. Again, you can move up to 30 feet away with your movement <laughs> and get Arlo shots for the 4d6 plus 4d6 sneak attack. Max wants to be... 40 feet away from this man. Okay. Works too. <laughs> you can move. You take. Uh, I'd like to picture at this point with how Sorsha acts. She's, she acts like a kid on a sugar rush with haste, basically. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a. <laughs> oh, it's not even like a proper like battle run. It's like almost like a hop skip forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So jitters. Hop skip, hop skip forward. It's funny. And... It's jitters. And then suddenly there's a harpoon gun in her hand and she's firing. <laughs> Yeah, I want to shoot my three shots. 
It's like the cowboy quick draw. You didn't see them pull it because of how much sugar she's on. You can shoot all shoot four barrels three... at once? Yes. Yes. I want to do that. You put that feature in. I did. <laughs> yeah. Roll to hit. Okay. We did. Well, he's dead, so. <laughs> it was I. Hold on. Let me look. Uh, you added the long range. Joran did the four barrel. Okay. Yeah. 22. Don't 22? Your inspiration. Yeah. You just hit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> As he goes to move, like he like he sees you leveling Arlo just suddenly just appearing in your hand. And like just to the eyes there a bit goes to move, you just watch Morav clap a hand on his shoulder with one hand and rip him back into the path as you pull the trigger. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I know what that does, no <laughs> uh. Roll That's on a the 14, dice. boy. You rolled 8d6? I forgot about that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched you roll two, four, two dice twice. I'm like, you got some more. No, I rolled three dice. <laughs> twice. So. You shot four. No, I rolled three dice. Oh, just three dice? Yeah. Okay. You shot so you got five more dice to roll. Yeah. You guys watch a sword that just runs forward, flicks out a gun, and poof, and four harpoons just appear in Aegis's chest. She's our boss killer. That's why I hyped this. And you watch him. You just watch him look down and ah, as they actually ah. bury in for once. Something's leaving a lasting mark. <laughs> you need to take that away 30. from me. Gross. Did you add your modifier? I only add that once, right? Only one modifier. 33. Oh, man. I thought it with Arlo was a plus one weapon. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, you 34. Look at her, she because plus one 34. <laughs> anyway, watch this. She just snaps out and, and it's just, ah! It's just four bolts materialize at his chest and... Oh. Confused. What? <laughs> what is... What is with your group and the strangest of weapons? Swisha still has more and then Swisha will do like a little flip backy back and she will throw her dagger. Laser dagger or something else? The special fancy dagger. Laser you dagger. You have more than one. The Lightsaber dagger, dagger that on your she wrist? Can aim. Yeah. Okay, you just throw it forward. Roll an attack roll. Don't forget this your one inspiration. Won't get sneak attack. Come on. Let it hit something. That hit something on the enemy team. Specification. That'll hit. As it, as he like looks up and it's like, as he's just saying, what is with your group and the strangest of poof. <laughs> ah! It doesn't go in as deep as the, it's a D4 damage plus the four, I think for that. It's four D4. No, no, no. That is the close oh, range no, melee. This is the, four. Never mind. yeah. 44 is your it just looks, boss killing weapon. Uh, dick driver. Seven. Thing. It just sounds like, ah, and ping. Can she pull it away from him? Yeah, he doesn't have time to actually probably, like, you just, and it just slides out of his hand before he gets a chance to actually get a good grip. you just hear, like, you what don't even fuck? hear, she's saying mine, but you just hear, mm. He looks a little hurt, more emotionally than anything right now. You guys have all landed more hits on him than he has had in years. <laughs> Except me! <laughs> You're helping. I'm saying it as a group. I'm trying to... I'm but trying it's his to, turn now. I'm trying to keep the force bullshit at bay. <laughs> Coda, you got a lot of uh, stuff going off. T-Lock. Yeah, sorry. Uh-huh. So, in the middle of all this, he stops, looks around at a situation, and then runs at you. Taking two attacks of opportunity from Rob and Cecil. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> uh, Cecil hits, but can't stop him. He takes a little bit extra damage there. Fucking Cecil, hey. you're a heavy armor dude. You should have taken Sentinel. Fuck. <laughs> he had to take something else. It's okay. I know. Fuck. <laughs> so, as he comes at you, sword drawn, I need more dice. 
what's your to hit? <laughs> That's what I'm getting ready to do. Where is his damage dice? Damn it! There's his damage dice. Um, twenty-three. Reaction shield goes around me. No, fuck you. As first one comes down, <laughs> deflects off. That's for the rest of the round. Yep, that's less, so that misses. And the final one is twenty-eight. That that that'll just barely do it. <laughs> and you take that. What's that? Twenty-six damage is the sword ah! cuts right open through the front. That's what you get for being shirtless. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> that just that was that. Did that go over the comms for everybody to just hear oh. that? Oh I god! That's <laughs> really fast. Yeah, that's the one time it slowed down just enough. She's insulting someone. She knows what to do. He's like, I can't quite leave until you're out of the way, so. That's a lie. I don't have any more ability left. Hmm. You just that might also be me. a lie. That might be a lie as well. I can't take the risk right now. Six seconds, you're up. <laughs> Anyways, Johnny, you're up. Oh, it's hey, Aegis is a bit closer now. Uh, no, Aegis is actually about just as far away because of how T-Lock wanted to move. Okay, well, uh... <laughs> how far away God. is he? Still 85. 85. Alright, well, I mean... I do have an old Reliable. <laughs> Mathematically, I have no fucking reason to be using this, but it has never done me wrong. So... I think it's time to utilize my Guiding Bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and aim, just in case. That okay with All right. you? That's okay with me. <laughs> I mean, a, it's just a, just attack rolls. It's not specified what kind. Yeah. Pew, pew. My guiding bolt's fucking broken, dude. I got another natural twenty on it. I shouldn't use this attack. So it still hits, but as with the earlier one, it does normal damage. Yeah, that's fine. Next person gets advantage on him though. And also, pew. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see here. I can only cast it at first level. How's your guiding bolt? How do you cast your guiding bolt? It's just Let's level out the arm and then this streak of yellowish energy. Iron Man Blast. I, I, Iron, Iron Man, Man Blast him. Except I would thinner. Like to, I would like to say... It's more of a piercer. I'm well past bloodied. We're busy. I know. We don't care. <laughs> I know. Come on, you don't gotta be mean about it, but we are busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be... Hide behind me, but don't give a fuck when I'm actually getting hurt. You're the one that was confident. I don't care. You got us into this. <laughs> 18 I, damage. I, and he is a new one. 18 energy damage? Yeah. As with before, energy doesn't seem to be doing much to him. Dumb. As it just poof, buries into the side of his shoulder and he like leans to the side of something and points his foot back. Prick! <laughs> oh, I forgot to yield last round. That's okay. I, uh, Anything else? I, I can't nope, that's move. it, actually. You can't move now. <laughs> T-Luck, you're up. Uh, Aegis just fucked you up with that one sword slash. That hurt. I was already fucked up, but yeah. Yeah, but that sword slash hurt, man. He is right in front of you. What are you gonna do? You know what? You know what? I would like you to make a disadvantage con save. Never mind, okay. I can't do that. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right. I can't do that. I don't have a high enough power level. <laughs> we get Dragon Ball in here. Mm. Why do I hey, do? just is over 9,000. In defense I... only. <laughs> what do I do? I don't I know. That's true. What do I do? 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 Punch him in the face. <laughs> he's right in front of you, and he's getting ready to stab you again, or cut you again. I don't know, you have something that can... Uh, you can still make him make the save. It's, it, maybe he'll fail. I No, I can't, actually. Okay, I then can't you say can just why, hit him. but I, I know I can't. It's a force power you've encountered before. It's a force power I have 
So I'm you pretty good. Hit it too. Mm hmm. So you can just like hit him really hard. I can't hit that hard, but okay. Kick him in the shin. Uh, what are you doing? Action! My shoulder sabers start to float around me. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I can't bonus action anything. Uh, I increase my AC. <laughs> yes. That's uh, fair. Bonus take him. Go ahead. Did bonus I? action. Nope, he's opportunity there. No, attacks awesome. are made at disadvantage against me. For one use of that. Okay. And I'm going to move 30 feet away. <laughs> All right. I'd like you to make a strength save as you run away. Ah! <laughs> Uh, where's my fucking die roller at? <laughs> I have too many things open. Fuck. Does a 10 do it? Nope. You take... Let me roll this. Ah, that's a lot of dice! That's even more! 34, uh, I'm force down. damage. <laughs> As he just, you go away, he watch him be like, reach out with hand and just flex his fingers like in a quick, quick grasp for a moment. And T Lock, as he goes through it away, just poof, poof, it hits the ground and all the sabers come down. Just. No, fuck you. Shay, no. that was interesting. No, fuck you, no. Sever Force, reaction, no. I will roll it. I don't want to go down. Can't spell a smite? I mean, technically. <laughs> If it, it's if it's allowed, I'll go down, but I don't want to. Um, because you already failed the save. The save already occurred before you. The spell already has occurred. Yeah. You have to say before the spell goes. Like as I say, he's casting something. Yeah. Like if I told you make the save and then you said it, I would. But the spell's already gone through and you already took the damage and decided yeah, afterwards. I so. About it. You're right. For this one, I'll say you don't have the time to. Is you? It, it hits you last second of wait. You're going to reach to do it, and then it just the. Blackout from the Ow. sheer whatever just hit you. Wait, I can do. Oh. <laughs> There's a brief look of hope on Tindu's face, on uh, T-Lock's face, and then it goes slack. I uh, just looking at it like, hmm, that was a interesting technique, I guess. I look forward to it. That's his turn. Oh no, that's T-Lock's turn. That's Tinu's turn now. T-Lock, I just gotta make a death save, because I go after him. <laughs> nope, you just oh, went, so... Yeah, that's my turn. That I was your turn, so it's Tinu's turn now. He actually smited me. Wait, what? No, he actually cast it. Oh, you bitch. They did not swing his sword at you. You got hit by an invisible, like, crushing force. To you, it was very visible, but to everybody else, it was invisible. The Warcaster feet. Alright, you say he's 85 feet from me? Yep. Well, you gotta move back out of the smoke, but... Yeah, I'm gonna pop out of smoke again. I got, what, a minute on smoke? In total? Roughly before it blows away and dissipates. <laughs> and I am not in stealth, correct? Fucking no, you did not tell me you wanted to hide. Oh. Well, he did say last time he was going to run back in it, but... Yeah, he ran in the smoke, but he didn't hide, you know? Yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah, okay, you, you know. think you're invisible, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he is an unseen while in the smoke, but not when he pops out. Oh, of course, yeah. Though, if you are a rogue, it is a bonus action to hide. Yeah, but what are you doing? I'm gonna... Take another shot. This time I'm gonna do it correctly. I'm gonna do the bonus thing again with it. What are you doing on this one? Oh, it's still gonna use the dire and vicious. Okay, well, vicious. You don't have to tell me to use. That just happens with your old max. I just need an old dire. Okay. Roll and hit. Normal roll, not a disadvantage roll, just in case. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Right. That's just normal roll. 
But it is not sneak attack because you do not have anybody threatening him within five feet. I know. I just forgot to use the plus ten that my rifle naturally gives. Yeah, you still have to make a check with the rifle. You get a plus ten on your roll and then for your attack bonus, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't add your attack bonus last time? Nope. No, I was... Yeah, I forgot it. That's why I was like, I forgot to use that. It was just a flat d20 you rolled to hit me? Damn, that's still pretty good high, then. You rolled a flat but... 20. Yeah, no, I rolled you should have told me that. <laughs> no, I didn't roll a 20. I rolled a... It was a... It was a 14 minus 3... Or 15 minus... Minus 1. I made it a... Fuck. It wasn't an Sarah, I'm confused. It wasn't. Sarah, an I'm confused what you added, but okay. I just I added the plus five from Dex. Just do whatever it is you're gonna do. Nobody's oh, hit him. He's still all glowy. Yeah, proficiency. He is still glowy. He do have advantage on the roll. Thank you for reminding me. So you will get sneak attack if you hit. Oh fuck! Thank you for reminding me. I'm helping. <laughs> Don't take my swords. Please don't take my swords. I thought about it. No, leave What's my swords alone. What's your to hit? Pack. 33. Oh yeah, that'll hit. Fuck. <laughs> it might. It might hit. <laughs> also How did you get 33? Uh, don't you still add the uh, bonus from dex and then add the uh, plus attack roll? No, your attack roll includes your dex. Your, your to hit would be... 28. Uh, 5 from dex. Oh, okay, okay. 4 right. from proficiency, just, um, plus 1 be because of plus 28 1. 28 then. Weapon. Okay, that'll still hit. I was just confused on where the fuck you got 33. <laughs> I mean, I forget. And, yeah. My... Just, it'd be, uh, 28. Yeah, that'll still hit, like I said. That's good. I just was confused. We might want to think about doing a danger room. If things need to be Yeah, we out. might have to. It's okay. We'll do that. Sneak attack dies. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's the primary damage dealer here. Yeah, well, I'm sure again, right? Cause it's leveled up. Especially if a pure rogue or not pure rogue, almost pure rogue. Sneak attack's magic. No, he was pure. Oh, he's, no, he's not. No. He's not now. Five v six. He like wasn't one before. Of, um, mm. That's like one of what berserk barbarian. barbarian. But roll your damage. That's for the other half of well, his he... character that we haven't got to Five see. That's yeah, let's. Uh, uh, what uh, uh, after he rolls his eight billion dice, I'm actually gonna go ahead and roll shit for Cecil and Rob while I wait. For this. Speed things up along. So you know if they hit Rob, or miss. Please have force powers. <laughs> God damn well, it! I scored a max on the d12. So that's a plus your vicious bonus. Plus the vicious number. Yeah. For that one. That's all I can roll. And... Well, plus... Hey, Matthew. Yeah? My insight's now plus 10. It still wouldn't have worked. His deception is too high. I'm Just sorry. Just putting that out there. It's so, uh, 34 out. damage. Okay. Oh, no, no, 35 because of Vicious. Yes. All right, as a uh, tiny little whatever the hell he is to you guys, it's not a very common race, pops out and his levels a sniper rifle way too big for him, and then boof! Tino, you'll be happy to know this time it actually impacts and flattens. It starts to do something, and it's the bullet's still visible on the outside of the skin. It broke the skin, but it's still visible. It broke on him. Just so you know. Like the bullet broke against the skin? It hit him and mushroomed, and it broke the skin, but whatever's underneath the skin, it mushroomed against. It dealt the damage. It just... That's all the more the damage equated to. Fuck are you? It's almost as if you guys are fucked built characters. Right. <laughs> Anyways, now I need to anything reload. else? You got a bonus action. <laughs> you gotta reload. You can reload as an action or bonus action. It is your choice. Reload bonus action. Okay. 
Moving back into the cloud or staying out this time? You're gonna stay out this time. Alright, brings the Cecil and Rob. You watch as they take off across back towards them. They're both about 30 feet away now. Very agitated that he flicked away. Question? Yep. Wasn't there a thing that if uh, Aegis moved that he would take more damage from... He did. Okay. Oh, uh, I told him, I think he gave me the damage. If not, give me the damage for what you rolled. I remember mentioning, thinking, at least thinking of the fact that Proct, I might not have said it. That is... No, I didn't... It just took off suddenly it, after a key lock. Uh, forgot that the only energy damage. What's your... What was it? It was like an extra D8 of Thunder or something like that, right? B6, B6. plus my modifier, modifier, which I rolled max for my D6. So 11, 11 damage. Did that just happen? I, um, Aegis yeah, moved last turn down. after T-Lock because T-Lock canceled his spell. And fingered him. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it the damage hit. I was gonna say I kind of damaged for something with the thunder again, but I uh, might have misheard the rolling. But so, but okay, I'll fix that. Nima, you are up as you are just after this. Cecil and Marab both take off across the way there, getting ready and hitting with a decent bit of teamwork. It looks like they work together. You watch this as they're running. Cecil just kind of like shucks his shield and grips his sword in two hands. Are they both of them in front of me? Yeah, pretty well, because you can just kind of twist. Uh, for you, yeah, t t t can't see this. For you, he looks much more comfortable with a two-handed, so two-handing the sword. B. And just Marav hits. I mean, it's not right. Cecil hits, stumbles, ages. Marav comes in, hits him again as he takes another step backwards. Stepping back forward, Cecil hits, then Marav, and Cecil finishes off with like one at his legs to try and swoop him up, but it doesn't work. And during all this like barrage of combos of one after the other, he is actually pushed about 15 feet away from T-Lock. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Leave In my what shit alone! Is that 15 feet? Is that 15 feet further away from me? Yes. Everyone collectively sighs. <laughs> <laughs> One chance I got to go run up and get some of the she is. I'm deep. sorry. <laughs> they were trying to get away from the almost dead party member. Yeah. Down party I'll member. Him out. Johnny, because of the angle, it's probably only about an extra five feet from you. Okay, <laughs> Same with Tenu. Please don't pick me up. Please don't pick me up. Please don't pick me up. I, I don't want to wake up and hit you, again. Man. <laughs> you, you do whatever you want. It's your character. James is saying that I don't want to get woken up and then smacked um, back down like a bitch. <laughs> what is the math there? So don't be a bitch. Doesn't do too much, does it? Okay. Nima, you're up. With a decently impressive spray, spray, display, sorry. And Aegis is front now well and truly his clothes fucked up and his chest doesn't look healthy with bolts. Stuck in his chest, blaster bolt burn marks, saber burn marks, and now sword slashes, cutting him open some. He doesn't actually get any time to respond to this, because one of the things is the saber just, the, the hilt of the saber just came up and jacked him across the jaw to shut him up for this. Such a mouth. Rob might be tired of the shit talking. Such a mouth. <laughs> You're up. So I uh, have two questions at the moment. Oh, that's the third question. Next round, probably. Um, first of all, Aegis is 45 feet from me with um, yes. Rob and Cecil between me, between us. Yes. How far is T-Lock? T-Lock or... is about 30 feet from me, yeah. Okay, good. I'm going to run up to T-Lock. Okay. And use uh, minor defibrillation. Fibrillation. Is. Get the fuck up. Is what is the healing word? <laughs> what is that? It gives him a, a success on a saving throw. Oh! That's it. Just gives him one success for a death saving throw. Okay. It's an action. All right. That's, that's pretty. That's some. That's it's a cantrip, weird. isn't it? That's why it's a cantrip. It's spare the dying, mm -hmm. but better. Yeah. Because he ran out of spell slots last time. If it's spare the dying, it just stabilizes. Well, that's what I said, but better. Yeah, but better. this one doesn't knock you out for the entire time. It helps you actively. It doesn't put you up. 
Or six Any bonus three. action? Bonus actions. Inspiration, man. You can use inspiration. I don't know what else you got. I got nothing. Exactly. <laughs> ah, We're in I the same boat. My second question. How yeah. does offhand fighting work? With an offhand weapon? If you have, you make an attack with a one-handed weapon, you can make a second attack with your bonus action with a light weapon that has the light property. But you did not take the attack action, therefore you cannot use two weapon fighting this turn. Or That's why I'm not asking for this turn, I'm asking for next turn, essentially. What I'm actually asking is, does it still use the same two hit and fire, or is two hit modifier? It uses the two hit of whatever your offhand weapon is, and unless you have the fighting style, you only get modifiers on the attack roll, not the damage. So damage has to take modifier, okay. No. Or, and he he missed out a part because there are double blades in this setting as well that... They're basically the same effect. thing. Yeah. That, that's that's He's asking for two weapon. I know he doesn't have a double blade, so... Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. they don't have the light property. <laughs> okay, why not? Bonus action. I'm using... You're cutting out. Cutting out a little bit. That's it. Okay, why not? Bonus action. I'm gonna there you use go. Potential aptitude on Cecil again. Important aptitude on Cecil, gotcha. Any thoughts on that or still just gonna hold for now? I'm firing a bullet. That's what? it. I'm taking out a special mag and shoot him. Because why not? So a dart appears in Cecil's <laughs> back. Yes. Like the back of his neck, and he just like slaps like ah what? steroids! <laughs> and then oh, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Man of little words, but here's some steroids. You're good. <laughs> Sorcia, you're up. Is oh. anybody within five feet of him? Yes. Yes. Ha -ha, Cecil and Rob are both ha -ha. still on him. Ha ha! Sneak Sweet. attack for Sorcia! Yeah. Ha ha! Ruins you are 55 life. feet away, and um, you're, have 60 feet. Uh, but Arlo needs reloaded. Yes, Sorsha will use her bonus action to reload Mr. Arlo. Okay. And she will get 40 feet from him. Okay. And she will shoot him with Arlo once more. Okay. Yes. Roll to hip. I love Arlo so much. That's a one, isn't it? No. Okay. It's not. You just had that face of uh, still inspired. In case I'm it's doing near. math in my head. It's twenty one. You're still uh, inspired. You're, gonna fire. You're still inspired. <laughs> You're still inspired. What does yeah. that mean? It means you can roll that I haven't said if it's success or failure, I'll let it slide for now. Do you wanna add the D six inspire inspiration dice to the attack rule? I thought it was a D eight. Not me. No, it's a D six from cool. Johnny. <laughs> 21 plus what? 21 plus 4, 25. Yeah! Uh, you fire at it, and you aim, four bolts fly, and then he whips the sword up and <laughs> knocks the four bolts out of the way using his reaction to parry. This is fine. Do the other thing. Do it. You know what to do. <laughs> you have a second attack. You do have a second action. Max will... Not Max. Sorsha will run even closer to the evil man, and she will use um, her yeah, wrist thingy. Yeah. Make an attack roll. Uh, are you flanking or forward? Flanking gives you advantage. Flanking, obviously, if okay. I get advantage. Advantage. God. And she didn't use sneak attack, so she gets sneak attack on this too. If she hits. I'm yeah, aware. Yeah. Crit this bitch. <laughs> well, crit just means it hits. No, it means that we get the negate the damage reduction. <laughs> no. Twenty-four to hit. That'll hit this time. He uses already to use his reaction. <laughs> Sad that parry only works for one attack. Ghost Tink doesn't cost anything, though. No, it shield. doesn't. The weird shield thing that I have is that entire his shield. Realm. Well, that's because I, it's it, shield. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't have the shield this time. Oh, the dice, Or next. so it seems. You get to roll 44 and 46. Hey, she goes back down to 17. I'm unconscious. <laughs> my brain was telling me there was something wrong with my sheet, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
then I scrolled back up for my spells and I went, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take four. As you slip behind him and uh, you've learned. We'll say you've learned from what the other person was talking. You don't go for a gut shot because apparently that doesn't do a lot. You go to aim for like center back area. This is a dangerous person. Hit the spine and you go to a hit at the last second he rotates. You catch him like in the left shoulder blade. And he just watches it plunges in some. As you hit, and before it hits its full extension, you just hear it like whir, like it caught and didn't go in all the way, but you've still got a good like four inches into this man's shoulder. Oh, damn, shit ass. And he just, mm, that was unpleasant. <laughs> what would happen if Sorsha left that in there? Bad things, I don't suggest uh, you it. <laughs> would still be, have it in him and still be attached to him. Are you purposely canceling the retraction on the uh, the stake driver? No, I don't want to do that. And it <laughs> pops out with like a wet like socket, like that wet <clears throat> noise. And blood Ew. starts to run and heavy like gurts out of his back now. Ew. His shoulder, his left arm is now unusable due to his shoulder. I think you still have some movement. Because you guys finally did enough damage to do something. How much movement does Sorsha still have? Five feet of movement. Sorsha will move five feet away from this scary Let man. Let me just put you in this. Yeah, just, just uh, stand right there. Thank you. Okay. So as you, you step back, and as you step back, his turn comes around, and he just whirls in spot, completely ignoring everybody, and just stares at you, like, just the... Uh, measuring you up for a minute. And... Sorsha's just gonna look at him dead in the eye and just go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the bravado, please. And then he... Out. He's gone. I know it. But Sorsha felt like a god! <laughs> oh, actually, Cecil gets one attack against him. <laughs> Maze clear. He hits. Bonk. It, you watch as a blade runs across his back, opening up, catching where you started the wound in his back and running down more of it. But you guys don't see any visible reaction during all this. It's starting to swell up. He's just staring at Sorsha after that one. And then <laughs> flickers out of existence. Johnny, you're up. Uh, I look around. Can Sorsha say anything to Chani over? Yeah. Yeah. Over Tom? Yeah. yeah. So, Chani, just so you know, he's been planning on leaving. I think something bad's gonna happen. We should probably skedaddle. I'm gonna check Packet's location. Packet is coming in with a vehicle, but because of where they were several floors down and then acquiring the vehicle. But does it look like where they're. Does it look like if we go toward there, they're going to be there before, like, we get up to the top? <laughs> up to the top, like, of the building? Like, if we were trying to escape the building, as Sorsha just told me to do, does it look like that would take significantly longer than just going over to the hole and going, oh, hey, there's a right? You have no idea where the hole exits to or where this tunneled area goes to, because it doesn't open up to an open surface, an open area. Okay. He's tunneled. Yeah, I mean, you're smart. You know, this looks like it might be opening up into access, the uh, maintenance access tunnels into the sides. All right. You've had a little bit of time to think about it besides the immediate, hey, pack it, get moving. I don't have a diagram of the area. Shit. Uh, yeah, that's still probably our best way if something's about to go wrong. They were escaping down the tunnels. If we're still good to go, we should head that way. T Lock is on the ground unconscious. I will head over to him <laughs> if I can. I think he's far away. He's about 75 feet from you. If anybody's next to him, can I just like get up out of my med packs and? Toss it at them. <laughs> Say catch. Right. Yeah. 
Med packs. Game is next to him. You can toss one to him. Catch. Oh yeah, med packs. He says now. Yeah, I'll just take up one of my own med packs. Uh... You still catch mine. <laughs> use mine, please. Yeah, I'm gonna use his instead of mine. Yes, and then when she's mine. out of catch range, she'll start to move toward tunnel area. So you would like to move towards the tunnel where Solaria and a bunch of the convicts were at. Yeah. Okay. Because I imagine that also our two other people with us are also going to. <laughs> Alright, we're going towards the tunnel. I'll say you're probably about 50 feet from the tunnel still. Okay. No, you're 40 feet because of where everybody, where he started and all that. Okay. At the end of your turn. <laughs> T-Lock, death save. Yep. <clears throat> Actually, is everybody going to be following this order? Or does anybody else have any other business they would like to attempt? I didn't see anything else in the room if I 12 passed the perception. Two death saves. <laughs> Shit. You're fine. Shut up. Well, I rolled a nat one, so he just starts gushing blood for no reason. <laughs> Did anybody? Does anybody have an objection? Are you guys all running down the tunnel? So uh, Chani does start to go down that way. I'm we'll following to help Chani. T-Lock. Starts as fast as fuck. But is anybody disagreeing with this action? That's Swisher what I need wishes to, know. to slow down so she does not overpass Chani. Smart. <laughs> That's a no. I'm here. Not hearing any objection. At that point, Marav will put down and put a hand on. Roll your healing for the 2d4 plus two med pack. That is eight. eight. Oh. All right, you get um, math. Thirty-two hit points back as Marav <laughs> also lays a hand and the force surges, <laughs> and the wound on the front chest seals up. Mostly, it's still. I'm still. Bloodied. It's like half healed. It's like half healed, basically. Yeah, I'm still bloodied anyway. Appropriate amount of healing. So you have forty total hit points. Oh, I'm not bloodied then. Never mind. Yeah, no, Marav gave you 32 and he gave you 8. Oh. I thought you did the math for me. No. What's I'm saying? Here, the, the extra 42. I'm sorry. I am and... no longer bloodied. I am up and not bloodied. Nice. Uh, as you guys are running forward, see this one run forward. He's like, you, uh, you, what is it? Basically, everybody. Mad it. Knocked you out. Matthew, you're gone again. Yep. Dang. Tell him, because you're in the same room as him, tell him I'm picking up my sabers immediately. I, would, I think that that's kind of assumed. <laughs> James is picking up his sabers immediately. He figured he wasn't going to be a dick about it. I know. I just like stating that because I have had dicks in the past. <laughs> yep, I don't intend to be a dick about just, I don't pick it. Hey, you didn't say you picked up your sabers. You're a combatant. You would pick up your weapons. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Uh, basically, Cecil is going to ask the rest of you just take a step behind so we can move to the front. The two of us can take a hit better than the rest of you. You seem worse for wear. Or Drain doesn't seem from the other bits of fighting. I need someone to carry me. <laughs> I think the packet and Sato are trying to okay. get a vehicle on the outside. I'm gonna try to get an update on their location, and ask packet for a video feed. Can I and properly you? inform us? Um, that was a joke. Shit, I need to do some math. How can what timing? Like, how far into the tunnel are you asking? Immediately? Me? Or are you asking for a live feed? I'm asking for a live feed if we can, and also that's as we're starting to head into the hole itself. Once okay. they take uh, the lead, she's doing it. He will flicker on, and you see off in the bit where they're heading towards what looks like... It, it basically hops up on, like, the HUD, the highlight of, this is the target destination from your video of they're heading towards a maintenance hatch that the door looks like has been busted open. Okay. Um, no. You guys running down. Everybody make an athletics check to, if you're hauling ass to see if how well you can catch up with 
where you hope, where you think people went. So this seems like it's really keeping pace with these two in this case. So, okay, sure. Ooh. Hip. The source should need to make one for the next minute, or do it doesn't last more than a minute. It might last more than a minute. It'll last more than a minute. You're running into access tunnels, and she's already had some turns with it active. All right. So, everybody make an athletics check. 24. Dirty 20. 14. 7. Yay. 8. Hey. 8. 14. Everybody's running pretty decent except for Sorsha, who took off great powerhousing at the start, forging almost ahead before Cecil and Ralph reminded her. And then hit like with like a sudden like fatigue, like the sugar high is gone, the off pupils go back to the orange, like starts to stagger and it lean up against the wall and starts to fall behind. And Nima's just he's out of breath. It's been a hard day running. This is like his first actual field assignment. And Sorsha's gotta catch your breath. I'm tired. So I'm you tired, guys, guys, you two are starting to fall behind. I will say, Chandi, with that, you were probably at the back of the pack. That's fine. I'm trying to keep an eye on them. That's going forward. I will be their lifeline. Um. Don't you leave me. Along the way, as they get closer, the live feed of packet and Sato just, you know, getting closer, proceeding. At one point, as they go in to land, they start to go into the door, and A just, just shoulder checks through, and you watch Shot Tato fly out of camera, and hear like a large <laughs> screeching grunt, no, loud, this like metal on metal noise as Packet turns, and he just ran that sword along the car. Okay. The uh, hover vehicle, and it hit the ground, and he's taken off into the city. All right. And uh, is moving much, much quicker than you have seen him run before. Sentinel. Like in that brief moment after the shoulder check and slash, he must have gotten in just a brief second, probably 180 to 200 feet. Does Pekka catch a glimpse of any General Grievous like bits and pieces, Bobs? On him? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, make a perception check. I Let's don't see know what, what Pekka's catch. perception is. <laughs> Uh, it's on your sheet. I up the I up the Not plot packet. bonus. That's Morty. <laughs> oh, that's packet. You're right. I'm so used to have you have your roll it for Morty. I'll roll packet's perception. He doesn't seem to have any mechanical bonuses on him. Okay. This seems to be purely physical, and as you can probably guess, force. All right. She's trying to figure out why she heard the chunking whirl whenever whenever the fuck off spike cannon hit him. <laughs> The what? what? The, Sorsha's the what? attack thing. <laughs> uh, that was the servo straining to continue its travel forward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't flesh, it sounded like it ran into. It ran into something hard enough to stop it, whatever it was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I understand your point. Uh, even looking at that, there doesn't seem to be anything. There's just... Even already, the, the wound's sealed and it's not bleeding. He's not tracking any blood at this point. We're still heading that way, if nothing else, to make to meet up with them. A uh, couple minutes in, you'll run into him, and you run into Sato and Packet. They're there. They basically, by the time Sato got up, it's like, he's fucking gone. They were doing, like, a quick, they can't get in the car to sweep. He's running too fast. They can't keep up. So they'll be there when you guys get there. Yep. Oh, Cecil hello, running out and Cecil running out and just checking immediately grabbing Sato and just going, did you see where he went? And Sato's going to look at me and goes, I um, tried, but man, he was going quick. I couldn't keep him inside. He's just gone before we got a chance. And as you can see, and you guys look over, there's just a huge gash and slash running across the side of this car, this uh, hover car, and it's it, it's not working. It's smoking and engines are not working. And then he was just, we couldn't keep up. Yeah, that's about the same feeling I've had for this entire day. We have a lot to talk about. Uh, well, fuck. And, uh, Packet's looking a little rough. The, the uh, arachnid is down to, like, half its legs. One of its pincers is gone. Its tail's slightly damaged. How you doing there, buddy? 
adequate, all given, is the response you'll get over the text right now. Alright, I understand. Repair is needed. We'll get that taken care of. There's also another thing we should probably look at. Well, the way I see it, we have about two options here. We can either proceed and try to find where the hell they've gone, or do a sweep of the building, make sure nothing else is going wrong, and get things resecured. We need to fix uh, the droid as well, don't we? That's what I just talked to Beckett about. So you still have a bit of distaste on his look, and just... Hmm. You make a point, we should probably get the base back together and before going off on a wild goose hunt, we probably won't find him in. Yep. I'm not any happier about it, trust me. You said you wanted to take care myself. of your ally back there. That's the intent. At that point, Sato would be like, um... Where's Billy? Uh, you know that one thing that we brought in from the bounty? Uh, uh yeah, she was low-ranking problem, kind of. Uh, Loosely. we didn't know what we had. <laughs> we didn't so know what, what we had. Got... We didn't know what we had. I'll talk more later. Come on, let's get things situated and fixed up before we really debrief. Pulls himself up back off his seat. If it's all right all with right. y'all, if y'all are just going to be doing that, I need to get in contact with my people, if that's fine. I'll be in touch. Look over. I say, Cecil, look over. You look like you need a medical. You look like you need the infirmary. I will heal on my own. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. I, I'm, I'm accustomed to doing things alone. Dathomir's not nice. No, but that's a poor strategy for the future, but it is. you're not under my orders, I can't or order you to do anything. I just, right now, while the memory is fresh, I want to tell the people I'm here for what the hell is going on. To the best of my knowledge. Okay, in the meantime, let's all do a sweep and get this place locked down again. So you're just going to start into a heavy sweep? Basically. Search on the building. Yeah. Alright, who all is doing a search? I have Packet, Sato, Cecil, and it sounds like Johnny. Johnny's doing a search, I but guess... she knows damn well she's better at having other people do things. So I'm hoping someone Sorsha comes will also help. Yay! Sorsha, Sorsha will help ears. Johnny. I'll help Sorsha. <laughs> oh, you'll help Sorsha. Okay. Amazing. Anybody else helping? Emma will help if someone. Wait, was it investigation or perception? This is an investigation. I'll handle it then. Oh yeah, I'll definitely do this. Y y you handle that, Chani. Is anybody helping Tenu? Tenu, I am helping Tenu. Okay. So, so Sorsha is gonna help Chani instead because Sorsha's numbers are good. We okay. know what we're good at and what we're bad at. <laughs> uh, Packet and Sato separate off on their own. They both get an inspiration die from each other. Look at, at that, point. they're friends. <laughs> hey, we just killed two dragons together. <laughs> Woo! 29. I got a 27. You can okay. add 4, Tenu. A D4? A D4, oh, 4, period. Okay. From Lord Master. I need to roll those two. Let me get to... I need a D6 and D8. I mean, while well, they're doing really cool things, I'm going to find okay. a cantina and just kind of sit and eat and contact people I need to contact. I'm not going to make you roll for... Get out, fuck No, you're rolling an investigation for the canteen. Everybody else has to search you after search when you're half dead. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I'd let it go at this level, but you're like half out of it. You're suffering from extreme blood loss. I that wasn't that. a saber. You can find a cantina. You find a very, you know, you find a very good cantina. Like, low floor at the top level course on. We'll get to you in a minute, though. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, so for the next... I'm going to say probably six to eight hours of searching to, because this is a big base and he's going to, they'll order other people on. It's not just you six searching or I think it's six searching. Oh, shit. You guys don't find any 
explosives. The info center, it looks like somebody was trying to get in, but another one of the Sentinels was there and dealt with two of the captains that were coming in there. We left some cor corpses in the reliquary. <laughs> There's corpses in the reliquary. They're going to do some like screening to figure out what's missing. No bombs. Nothing to throw out. You find more bodies. You guys clean up a couple members and it's not enough to actually even worry about having you guys do a fight. There's like only two or three left of the cloaked figures from this organization in the building. And there are anything near the level of the captains even. Collect the belly bits and see what's uh, left. Anything to take from the bodies? <laughs> Make a separate investigation check for Billy, please. All Make right. a technology check for Billy. A tech check. Uh, 27. Uh, prying through, you have a lot of the base material left. Like, the arms, the legs are fine. The head is fine. Searching through the body, really hoping to find, because you got to find the most important part is basically the main processing core, the memory core of Billy. And it looks like it has superficial damage on the outside casing, but it looks to be intact. Okay. It barely skated skated by with whatever was happening. Because thank God her foot was not wider as it dented a conical shape inwards where she put her foot. But everybody's going to be searching for a while there. This is when we will jump over and let t -Lock go through his blurb. t -Lock, look for your cafe. I'm, I'm, I'm more fi less finding cantina. a cafe, more finding a cantina slash tavern thing that has rooms to rent, because I want to rent a room and nap. <laughs> After doing a quick thing to my mother. <laughs> Matriarch, whatever, same difference. A, a call to her. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, mother. It, it's, a, on, it's a quick five-minute call to her, or even if that, saying, hey, there are these people... They're really mean. Um, looking around, you find a decently sized cafe, cantina looking deal that looks, you know, kind of busy. There's a, a grilled churis. Okay. Walking in, a decently heavy set woman behind the counter. I won't say, like, heavy set, like, fat, but she's definitely not a scrawny thing. Oh, yeah. And she's just as you walk in. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, oh my. Oh. Are, are you okay, sir? I'm fine. It's fine. Normal. Make, make a pers I'm going to actually have to ask you to make a persuasion on this. I just realized the state you look like you're in. It's not pretty. Oh, no. That's a 25. <laughs> if you say so, what, what can I do for you? I would like a room and some food. A private room. If you have it. Uh still like well we don't have a lot, but we got a couple extra. We got two open at the moment, so yeah, it's how long do you want in the room for? Just the night. Well, the rest of the day and prob possibly tomorrow. Well, till till the morning then. Yes. Okay. Um Well, food for supper until the night will be fifty credits total. You look pretty rough. You look like you need the break. He'll just pop a hundred down. But sir, this is more, more than the broom is worth on this time. You you look like you need the break. I'm fine. Thank you very much, though. If, if you insist, I guess. Um, Here, let me take you to your room. We'll send food up to you in a minute. You, you need to sit down, I think. As he's walking, for the most part, okay-ish. <laughs> yeah, but you have gash marks, black veins from poison. It's still on you. You smell oh, atrocious. God, yes. You've oh, walked through a war God, zone. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, I know. Don't, don't even let me. Don't even. I know. <laughs> uh, chilly jump to a room. Give you that few minutes. Probably about taking your order for your food, your drink, all that, you know. Yeah. Oh, about twenty minutes later, knock on the door. Very large. A bit of a heavy set root. This has got a heavy gut to him. Uh, Sith. Uh, Sith Pure Bud the Race. Mm -hmm. Just walks in and says, You looking up? 
Here's your food. You might want to take a nap. You've stir right, stirred up the missus down there. Planned on it, but thank you. And apologies. Here, here's a bit extra on there. You need to. You need some food to get that healed up. That's. Mm. <sighs> Have you heard the story? You want any of the, of the medical kit? Do you need a medical kit for that? Uh, I should be good. I have my own devices. All right. Taps the side of his face. <laughs> Showing off. All the right. You do eyes. that. And he'll shut the door and head off. Uh, Call on your matriarch. Twenty minutes. I'm gonna have take a bath. <laughs> okay, that's fair. You still look rough because of the wounds, but you look I don't better. Don't stink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you you don't well, smell like crate dragon saliva. Whilst eating, because he's actually a, no one will know this. No one has no one is seeing this, but he's actually a very delicate eater. But he's very quick. <laughs> okay. But during the eating of the food, I'm gonna call this is, the major, which is a challenge because this is a hearty like a hearty style meal, not a yeah quiet one. But you manage. I'm gonna call the matriarch if I can okay. over the holocaust. Um, sending a thing over. You're in a room. They probably have things set up on Coruscant in the rooms to get you longer distance communication if you need to. On Coruscant, they're everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Let me find that. See what time it would be there. That's an hour yeah. step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to remember, the planets are on very different time cycles. Time uh... Even if she has a similar day, it's a totally different solar system. I know it's it's not it's not a similar day. It's um, I've not got the info in front of me right now. Unfortunately, where is her? Thing? All right, so ringing the bell, just having ringing the bell, sending the call out. Uh, it'll take a couple of attempts. That's fine. But. Easy enough, shortly enough, you will get the phone answered. The phone. The hollow net answers. Uh, answering that is a. How to put it? Very pale mm -hmm. and like lean, pretty well, pretty well decent in shape for even like the Montreal matriarchs for the clans of beasts. Some of them tend to fall on, like, you know, on the sorceries. Mm -hmm. Rely on that more than physical. This is very obviously not the case with her. Mm -hmm. And pulls you out and just looks like you caught her waking up, maybe. She owns with the annoying, like, what do you need at this time? It's in the middle of the night. Apologies for waking you, but I just got new information on the uh, group that's been harassing us. From what I understand, we just fought two, or, well, one, mainly, of their generals. They're, uh, not to be trifled with, to say the least. She'll sit back and... As I'm still covering... Collect herself, waking up some. How would you compare to those of us here, and yourself? I don't know, how would they compare? How does Aegis um, compare to her? <laughs> Aegis's presence is lesser, but the sheer martial capabilities is probably a good head and shoulders above her. She doesn't slack off by any means, but she tends to rely on her pet and her powers, your, mixing in martial. Your presence in the Force mainly is a lot stronger than his, than, uh... Did I get his name? You guys I would have heard him talk, referred to Aegis, at least. You would have gotten the update, probably. You can have his name. Uh, then, Aegis. He, his martial capabilities, though, are... quite a bit above your own. The, the woman, what was hers, like... Her presence, I guess. Hers was like the one that was just like weighing down on you. The mostly yellow with speckles of red and blue in there. Like yeah, but... this was a. It was. This is the one that goes past her. And By, uh... decent bit. She's probably like a quart, maybe a quarter of what that was, three quarters the... of what um, the Solari was. And the female, some kind of 
martial fighter that only uses their hands, something similar to what we've seen on home. Because there's Night Brothers there. Nope. <laughs> uh, she's... You're maybe a quarter of what her total power is. Presence-wise. I did not get to see her fight, sadly, so I do not know martial-wise. And... Has a bit of a thoughtful look at this one, and... Hmm. And, um... And there where do one... these ones rank in the order that they work for? Do what? Where do they rank in the order that you've been, it's been harassing us? Unless there's someone above them, I think they're the top of the organization. Or at least the generals, as they call themselves. Let us hope these two are the, ta the strongest they have, then. Uh, there was one more that we met that seemed way more unhinged. To put it plainly, he let loose six dragons? Yep. Six dragonoid figures. You I know don't know the, the trait dragons from the one place. Yeah, so you made the check. On a Coruscant here. Just for no reason, he just let them loose. I think the only other option from what I gathered from the other people I'm here with was blowing something up. And his presence was also, like, about equal to hers, I think? Pretty close. And his presence was pretty but close to But he was... Hmm. Yeah. About the same. You didn't get to see a lot of him. You knew he projected himself from yeah, but that's about it. The The problem is he projected himself from somewhere else down to the planet. He wasn't actually there. It was a force ability, though, so I could still sense a little bit of him. And uh, how do the Sentinels uh, react to the request of aid? Uh, they're... They seem willing to help so long as we also provide assistance start a please start any negotiation with them on what kind of assistance particularly because as is we cannot send many people from our planet keeping our defenses here of course but, uh, I'm sure I'll probably be, probably be one of the only ones we can send off planet Blech. One last question for you before I head back to sleep, because this is the middle of the night. Do you have a motivation yet, or a reasoning behind these bad men as they've been acting? None as of yet. They, they cannot be more different from one another. Each of these three generals that I've met... One is a massive, muscle-bound woman who is always seemingly angry and willing to fight at every uh, moment. Throw that at you. She didn't seem angry. It was like the eagerness would be more accurate. Yeah. She was annoyed uh, when she got stopped, but eagerness would probably be a better description. Yeah, okay. She was extremely eager to fight me. Way more than it should be, than normal people would be. The Aegis... He, his calm, calculating demeanor is strange. Even in the midst of being brutally beaten to shit, pardon my language, he just would not stop hurling out, uh, I think the word is taunts, at everyone saying, hey, you could do better, hey, you should be doing better, hey, don't do better, or things, that are, or don't try too hard, and things like that. <laughs> and the other, again, the one who let loose the crate Dragons is just entirely unhinged. He's just crazy from everything I could see. <laughs> so we have three very different people who should not be cooperating, working together. Uh, so that tells me, at least from my intuition, they're working for a cause of some kind. 
something they all believe in. And that can be troublesome. Keep digging. Let me keep me up to it. I don't know what you find. If you find a cause, let me know. Maybe we can use it against them. Something. Keep an eye out. Any information will be of helpful at this point. I will do. Good night. I, again, apologies for waking you. <laughs> no, this was the right move this time. I told you to update me as soon as you had it. But <sighs> you're all right. It is late. And you look like you need to recover some. I left these marks on me so you could see part of their capabilities. I did get healed beforehand. This is... Take your rest, you've earned it well. This is mostly Aegis with a little bit of the crate Dragon spit. This stuff. And he pulls out the mason jar. <laughs> oh, it's vile substance. Ugh. That's why I plan on using it to... The best of my abilities. Leave it at that. That we shall. But unless you have anything of me, I bid you a night. Good night. I hope to be coming there soon. Coming home soon, I should say. Gives you a nod and shuts off the parliament. I'm gonna finish my food quickly and go to bed. <laughs> All right. Fair. You. It doesn't take long. You hit the bed and like a couple minutes, maybe a minute or two later, you're out. That was a rough day, even for you. Yeah. <laughs> even though you, you've done the training, you've done all that, but training compared to physical combat of actually fighting and being beaten with lethal intent. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, it's not the first time I've been beaten the crap out of with lethal um, intent, but this is worse. <laughs> yeah. To the rest of the group, is there anything extra you'll be doing after that, or are you guys going to be going to bed afterwards? This is getting kind of late. Like, you'll be wrapping up in the early AMs on your searches. Gonna go to, I feel like Sorcia is still exhausted after her haste is done, so she's just going to plop in her bed and fall asleep. Okay. Just face first. Uh, if Johnny happens upon anybody in, like, the people to debrief to category, and it doesn't look like they're in a similar state to Sorcia, <laughs> she will do so. Uh, you run into Cecil again. Him and Sato are talking. They look bed ragged, tired as well, but they're still up and going. And they just wave you off of yeah, Cecil. Just wave you off. Of, get get some rest. You guys will need it. We can do this tomorrow. Okay. Can I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Can I say that I have would have grabbed and folded up while in the car ride my bottom robes? <laughs> yeah, a lot of happened. Forgot. Uh, I'm gonna... Fun note, as you guys started searching the building, you found out what that crash you heard when you were running back up towards where Robin Cecil was. They drove a car through the front wall. <laughs> it's crashed and, like, tilted and, like, broken into the floor above it, and there it looks like they got throat. They went straight out through the roof. I assumed. <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. It's kind of impressive how they got it in there and wedged. It shouldn't fit, but here we are. That's where you catch Cecil and Marav most of the time, trying to figure out and mm, mm, wedge it back and forth. It's not broken, so they're trying not to break it the rest of the way. Okay. But that'll be it. We'll call it night. You guys can get a rest. I will wake up before them, right? Probably, because you went to bed earlier. Yeah, they okay. went. So they went on a late, because they had a late search. Okay. Uh, what time would you normally wake up, we'll say? Let's... Me? Uh, if I go to bed at the right time? Probably around early morning. I just stab myself in the eye with my thumb. Ow! Fuck! Probably around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Ow! You're sore. You are very sore. The best mornings, when you wake up and slap yourself in the face. Sorsha's gonna sleep for at least 12 hours. Okay, Sorsha won't wake up till about 1 in the afternoon, I understand. But she will wake up starving. Because oh, yeah. she didn't eat supper because she was too tired. Got some snacks while searching, probably, but no supper. 
She'll also, the first thing she'll do when she wakes up is she'll hop in the shower and wash any blood off of her. Okay. Well, when we get around to that time, easy enough to do. But t is the first up, probably, with everything happening. You can do them. I sent you a message. Oh. I need to check something real quick. Is this the one? Uh-huh. Uh, hold on. Just a moment. Okay, so while we're dealing with this, we will start him. What time are the rest of you waking up? Natural wake-up time. I have no preference. Is everybody just sleeping until uh, the body's like, okay, you've recovered? Yeah. Sorcia Probably somewhere between a little longer. 10 to 12 for most of you, and in Sorcia, you'll be at 1. Sorcia likes to sleep. Which is fair. It's her favorite pastime. Which is also fair. Weird. Weird. <sighs> Waking up. Everybody probably getting lunch. I need to do that a different way. There we go. Hold on just a second. It's hard to type through Discord, it takes some time. Sorry guys. You got fat fingers. Tippy couch. Hey, you're not the only one, dude, so don't even. Hmm. Uh, getting lunch, getting recovered. Uh, about I'll say two in the afternoon. You guys probably aren't doing much after still, just because shit, that was rough. This is probably still a little bit of recovery. Even those of you that weren't really hit hard in combat, you're still really sore from the amount of running around, gunfire, and all that that you had to pull out. Uh, wisdom or charisma check, James. I don't know what that. If one fails, do like... the other. But I'll go with wisdom. What's one or the other for this? Uh, wisdom for now. Okay. It'll be a 16. Alright. Unless I have proficiency. <laughs> uh, nope, it's just this. But that works. Whatever this big secret is that no one else can know about it, I hope it's worth the payoff. I hope the payoff is worth it. I'm sorry, this. guys. <laughs> uh, but I was going to say, for tea block later in, like, maybe afternoon after you get lunch, uh, if you leave before then, you can get those other. Otherwise, you can just get it from here. Yeah, I'm just going to order They will call you back in for a debrief. They'll ask you to come in and show up around two for a debrief. Okay. Just mark off another, probably, f let's say, uh, 25 credits for lunch and dinner. I mean, lunch and breakfast. Make it an even 50. <laughs> Alright. You got the big I... Sith guy coming back in, jolly dude, giving you food. He's not gonna tell no to you, but... It's, you think it's... after you overpay, he overstuffs your plate a little bit? Thinking it's... you might need it to recover? It's just, I overpay, <laughs> and he, what he doesn't realize is I'm overpaying because I know I put them through a, a rough time because I look like a fucking mess. Uh, anyway, after that, when I get the message to debrief, I will put all my clothes on, put all the stuff where it's supposed to be, hide all the necessary bits that I normally hide, and just do the debrief. Okay. Anybody else doing anything besides all that for debrief? I will ask for sure, to make sure. I imagine besides Johnny, like food, shower, recovery. Gotta go look over those files I got. All right. What's Chani doing? I imagine Chani will be the one to go debrief people. <laughs> Officially. Well, so it, they're everybody... calling all of you okay. in. Okay. They're calling all of you That's in. That's fine, then. I've been spending some time in the workshop. Are you, did you just get up and go straight back to the workshop? Looks like we, yes. Is that what you just said? I'm tinkering on my we weapons. Sano will come out with a bagel in his mouth at one point and just, like, stop. Pulled out. Really? 
Already? He's improved. Don't you say that? Yeah, but you gotta rest. You gotta recover some. Uh, you can't just rest. keep going into it. I'm not a good example for this. But I'm not a field danger, so... This is my life you gotta now. remember that bit. You're a field agent now for this bit. Uh, I'll just do a couple more things and then go get ready for something. Maybe. Make sure you eat before this afternoon. They're gonna call you in. We're gonna call you guys in to see what'll happen from your point of view. Right, right. That's all like five hours left. Right? Okay. What time is it? Hold on. I'm gonna look at watch. It's about 11 right now. 11. 11. Is it this afternoon? You know what time this afternoon, sir? Hmm, two-ish. Ah, uh, three hours, four hours. Plenty of time. He's going to look down at his napkin. He's going to set the extra bagel down. You sound like you're going to need that. And <laughs> we'll keep going. Have a good day. He just gives you like a half a hand wave as he walks out the door, sipping on something else. I'm just going to get right back to working. For you there. Uh, fair enough. Tinker and maintenance. That was some rough time making sure it survived everything in the field, right? Yeah. Infusing my thing into my thing. So. Ow. For Tenu. Looking through the files some. Just make a... General investigation check, just to sort through the nonsense and the good stuff. How's that? Alright. That's not what I wanted. 31. Damn. Damn. All right, so three things of note pop out to you. Uh, this is mostly call logs that you got a hold of right now. They're not right. uh, transcripts of what actually happened. This is just like going to and from who called, who received. Uh, it looks like there's been multiple calls coming from both angles between uh, this office. Not this office, but specifically the uh, connection you found tracing the... Uh, it may be. called. Uh, there's a signal that like, happened when the doors opened and released. You use that to trace back some and find us. You got a hold of a source of a uh, terminal in a like kind of like a almost like a hideout kind of situation for you. But found it. Uh, there's multiple calls coming back and forth between that terminal and but you have that investigation and everything else pieced together is the head of security for the Rainland Corporation. Oh. <laughs> I just heard. <laughs> hey, thanks for the what corporation? Uh, Rainland Corporations. I think it's corporations. Shit, there was a call. It's Rainland Corporation. Can you spell that? Rainland? Uh, R-A-I-N-L-E-N. -E okay. There's one that went back and forth. This was a blocked number, but it, it's somewhere else on Coruscant. It doesn't really have a one. It's properly blocked. And the final one, it was a transmission that went to death. Okay. And he said the call was going to where? D A F. Uh, Dathomir. There was only one of those in the past couple weeks that it has saved still. And it was probably two days ago. Yeah, how, did, no, how like, far back? Nobody on the, the receiver. Uh, the other calls. Uh, the one three of them where it's peppers and dotted throughout the time period you found in the past couple of weeks. After that, it kind of like just shunts it off to save space. Wasn't super advanced one, but that's all it keeps. And there, and there's only two of the other ones in the past couple weeks for the unknown number on Coruscant. All right. The 
It's one of the upper fours, that's all you can get. For that one. But, anybody else for theirs? Or shall we skip to the debriefing? debriefing. I've already done mine. Well, guess what? You gotta do it again. Well, no, I mean... But, nothing. My little thing on the side. Oh, that. Sorry. Uh, I mean, if nothing else, then we will skip to it. Everybody walking in. Yeah. Sato's in there. Cecil's in there. And I'll say both Sato and Cecil. Sato's back in his standard clothing you guys have seen him all use sitting in the lab. Cecil is... And like a, what is it going on? It's basically like a normal, uh, what is it? Tank tops. The workout tank top and standard short, standard pants. Looks like he probably got up and went to that and then had to get here afterwards. He hasn't been up long either, probably. And lastly, they're sitting down. It's very tall and very lift would be the best way of putting it. Human, uh, no hair, ebony skinned female. Has two small cylinders. A small cylinder and a longer cylinder, both slender cylinders uh, at the waist. Decently athletic build. They stop their talk and they're chatting what happens when you guys come in and Cecil will turn the rest to you and... Well, thank you for getting here pretty quick. I get yesterday was a rough day. And he'll stand up and start to hold a hand out to the rest of you and says, Cecil Rainland. I oversee the Sentinel program. <laughs> I've only really met one of you yesterday, and that was only a quick introduction. He'll, uh, uh and... He'll go back up. Well, let's try it again. T-Lock. Give you a firm handshake. This time remembering, you know, not to go too far. He's not Break a bad my hand. <laughs> He's a bit daintier than most. <laughs> Anybody else accepting the handshake? Or anything of the sorts for a greeting? Shake hands. Or... Okay. It, it's, a, it's an effort, but they get it. it, it it's a moment of, huh. Mm. This one is small. But strong. <laughs> Gets your handshake. You give him a firm handshake, he smiles, and it's like that moment of just two decently beefy people have to give the good handshake. <laughs> but, Seeing their good handshake, Sorcerer's just going to take him by a finger <laughs> and just shake his little finger. <laughs> just because of. <laughs> Fair enough, after that, in small shake. So I know two of you. There's Sorsha, Shani, you were recently brought into this. Nima. I met T-Lock. What's... I haven't met you. I don't know your name there. But, uh... As he's looking down at Tenu. <clears throat> looking way down at Tenu. <laughs> if you don't say anything, Sato's beer was like, oh yeah, that's um... That's uh, Tenu. He came in recently off a uh, brokered a deal for protection in exchange for information and a bit of help. It was just not as I was like, ah, oh, I remember that coming across the desk. No, to any of you with aspirations, don't. The paperwork will murder you. <laughs> That's if you have to worry about paperwork. You don't where I come from. No, but, uh... Well, your mate shark has to do a fair bit with us. <laughs> so she at least understands the horror of it. Yeah... Hmm. I have to give reports every now and then, so I guess I understand. But, uh, not for this, you all know Sato, I assume. This here is 
shit, my notebook just closed. <laughs> this is why I need to put everything on my computer, I think. It's no, it's not helpful. No, I have two monitors. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, this here is Master Isha. She came from the Jedi Temple for once and is trying to offer assistance and was hoping to get an idea of what happened with them yesterday. She helped with the crate dragons on the loose and a great number of the injured civilians. I'm gonna go over and shake her hand. Okay. I will say for her, new caller, new person. Yeah. Most likely blue, right? Soothing. Very, yeah, it's very blue. Uh, very soothing feeling coming off. Not a, like, even, even like the softer form of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of a uh, Cecil in this case. This is just what how to try to how to put it. It's flowing. Water. If you hit grass instead of hitting like you know wall for uh, Marav, grass for maybe for Cecil for it's there, but then there's something solid. It's just like fluffy, like a big pile of cotton. Okay, I must say, and I do mean this as a compliment for all of you. Your aura is very soothing compared to those two. She'll stand up and just give you the same handshake. Her hand rip isn't very much. It's probably similar to yours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, pop up. I assume you're talking about the uh, two individuals they were telling me about from yesterday? Uh, no, I was more talking about Marav and Cecil. His oh. is a wall and his is a... Well, it's like hitting the dirt. <laughs> turns your to him. Well, they seem to have collected your number there. Yours is like landing on a cloud. It's a lot more comforting. But it's also nice when they're standing in front of you in combat to have that aura. <laughs> oh, they do serve their purpose. I will probably do a bit different than they do in things. Uh, this may come across as a bit crass, but I heard you just lost two Jedi in a massive event that my matriarch sent me. Well, one of the reasons my matriarch sent me here for. It, she'll get a slight frown on her face in that, and that we did, and she'll look over at Sorcerer and Shani. I do hope to try to get some more answers today while I'm here. Well, you have my condolences at least, but I must ask if I can ask any of the survivors that may have left what they felt, because I don't have very many Force users around. That makes ask. four sessions I have to summarize now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I can't promise anything of the such. They were very distraught when they came back, but I can perhaps understand. we shall see from there. Understood. It is something that I'm tasked with doing, so I have to ask. <laughs> Upon a no, I, I will take it. Uh, she'll give you a head nod and sit back down and say, Cecil, pop back, lean forward at his seat, sitting back down. And then realize, I'm sorry, I'm completely missed over. We got try checked and hold out a hand to Johnny. Sure. Okay, I was just curious. Did the Jedi not give her name? Uh, he introduced her as Master Risha. Master Risha. I'm going to put her... I don't want to say enemies. Neutral. Put them where they belong. In the flaws column. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where the fuck would I put them? I guess contact slash friends? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Categorizing new people, I understand. Flaws column. Good catch all <laughs> So, um, well, for the best of this, let's start from the top. Yesterday, I understand Sato sent you out on a somewhat routine investigation mission on a warehouse. Okay, Matt, do you want me to go for it and fully summarize these things? Because if so, we might be here for a few minutes. <laughs> As this is kind of important on what you say and what you don't say, 
Yeah. All right. Accessing memory banks. <laughs> Anybody who was there can chip in, of course. Okay. Yesterday started with the... Well, yesterday started off with the investigation of the warehouse. Once we entered the area of the location, I sent my little remote control droid in. And she'll kind of have Mortimer go out and make himself known. <laughs> and I and the little missus here, as he points to Sorsha, sensed a off presence. I had him go in and yeah. do a sleep at the area, upon which he saw three individuals, which one of which is apparently a force ghost, so it's good to know that it could be seen by a complete droid. Not a force ghost. Not the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll have to interrupt. In this case, it does make a large difference. What was it then? It was a force ability, some kind of force projection that I could cancel out. Any idea on how far he was? I know some can I apologize. throw it a ways off, or some can throw one down there and start moving away invisible. Oh, he was... He was not in the building. I will say that, nor within 120 feet of me at any given point in time. But no, he was not a forced ghost, he was a forced projection of him of his self. Right, Similar to how the holo communicators work. Very ghost-like though, yes. Alright, continue please. Why does this sound Sorry for the interruption. Well... Once the group at large went inside, they began conversing with them, and through their actions, I deduced that they were the one responsible for the attempted bombing on, uh, Cloud City Bespin. At which point in time, I saw a potential chance to try to apprehend them, which is whenever we learned that they were not really there. So that was kind of a bummer. Sorsha and I then went to try to find additional somethings in the office to try to get a location as to where all these things are coming from to try to track down where he was, our search was not fruitful. And then he came in and gave us a proposition, but it was one of those propositions where they're obviously just trying to exert power over someone. But the information that they did share was that apparently one of their agents had been captured in hut space and they were seeking to have us acquire them. So that was either a red herring to get us to go away, or they really do have somebody in hut space that we might want to think about trying to track down. Did they give any kind of description of name, location, anything? That space is a very broad area. They did not. Alright, um... I have to ask for the records. What was the deduction for the guy being responsible? The man that Tegruten, you said, was responsible for the bombings. I can't remember their exact words. I have a recording of it, and she'll kind of tap the side of where her helmet is. And... We can go over it later. And basic... Some insight made it to where it was pretty obvious. Well, it's going to sound bad, but I hope it's pretty damning, because this whole situation is... I'm there looking for someone to blame. I'll do what I can to keep anybody from under it, but... Mm. Anybody that's gotten involved with politicians, you know how that is. Yeah. So I'll say this. The man was bug-eyed crazy, in my own intuition. Mm -hmm. Continue. So, at which point in time they made some remark and then let loose the crate dragons, which we stopped two of before they got too far, and then lost track of. I think we stopped two. Maybe we only stopped one. I don't remember. We it was a long day. Stop the second one. <laughs> you mostly stopped the second one. Mostly stopped the second one. I thought we did stop the second one. Uh, police force helped weaken it some first. It was a long day. Oh, they did No, oh, sure. <laughs> they took out a quarter of its HP, actually. But once we got there, we hopped in an Imperial transport, made our way, found... Marav and Cecil there, at which point in time it became obvious that the Sentinel base had actually been vacated, and we went back to investigate that, heading immediately to the reliquary where we found two of their agents, 
and put a stop to them. The third one, however, well, I don't know if there was a third one. That was above game, sorry. <laughs> and we stopped them from escaping, but there were still missing artifacts, so we can assume that there was more that managed to sneak past us. So at least two down there, at least three members down there in the Royal Aquary. Yes. Possibly more. I couldn't sense a damn thing down there. Everything was blinding. Pretty sure that's the point. Okay. It is, um, yeah, we yeah, had a lot of them go down there for vomitins to avoid it pretty heavily as she seems to have the same uh, adaption, condition, some um, as you. Birthright. Any nods of T-Lock. Birthright. Whilst we were down there, uh, our, my associate Sorsha began to hear something coming from above. And I... I have very good hearing. She does. And I took the guess that that was probably going to be the detention cells. So we headed in that direction. Finding a path of destruction carved out in front of us. The droid took the lead and got down there before the party at large. And I'm, I'm assuming that Tinu would have told us everything that he saw, right? Uh, Tinu, would you have, or would you have disappeared off and just kind of kept it a bit quiet? Medina. Would you have shared what happened down there when you were there with Billy alone, or would you have kept quiet about most of it? Or would you like to share now in character? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, we'll you have that. Do it? All right. They went down there with uh, Tenu here, so they have more information on that particular part than I do. So, Rachel kind of gesture toward him. I have done a... After I get back from uh, investigating, a little... Get his, uh, what was it, like a data card I got or something? You pulled data from a terminal. Got some data from a terminal, get that, hopped on... um. Iron Billy over there, and uh, <coughs> we ended up charging through. We charged through a wall. I just charged through an opening to the prison area. Blew the uh, exit. The other exit shut. Was it the exit we blew up? Shut. We yeah, you um, blew the exit shut. You tried to collapse it. And then we well, nearly you ran it. into <clears throat> a giant of a woman. What was her name? Did I catch her name? Uh, eight just I believe it was introduced her as Solari. What's up? I thought she said. I her believe name. she might have. I'm trying to remember last session. You were informed that the name was Solari. The woman named Solari uh stomped a cave into Billy's chest. And, so you still uh, have a bit of a... Mm. Hold on. Can I ask what everybody's insight bonuses are? Just for the... To see this. Nine. Eight, ten. Six. Nima? Tidu? Oh, my insight? Yeah. And insight bonus. bonus. Hello? Under wisdom. Uh, is, uh, I don't have a bonus for that. Okay. So what's your wisdom? Nima? Wisdom is 11. Okay. Oh. It's muted. Three. Nima, any bonus? Three. Three. All right, so to everybody but Tenu and Nita, he twitches and, like, the hand, like, the left arm, like, the, his right arm starts, like, towards, like, he's going to, like, rub something, like, maybe an old wound at that one. My character heard the name before. Met the person before. Ah. Wasn't pleasant. I can tell. Her He's aura a bit of is a grump. pleasant. Huh? He's a bit of a grump. I'm only a... I'm only a lab because Billy saved she... me. The... She's a bit of a grump. Well, let's Very much. go into that after 
Tenu is allowed to finish his retelling. Sorry. We didn't even get an attack off before she just mauled Billy to death. He just saved my life. Tossed me in his cap and threw me. Um. Heard a lot of clanking metal and uh, somehow when I was running up the stairs she was running down them. Anybody care to explain that? She jumped up through a hole that we put in the ground. Okay, so it and sounds then, like look? your recollection of the event now catches up to stuff that I know. So, as we were heading down there, Nima had the idea to remove a portion of the floor, which we did, which seems to have provided the distraction necessary for Tinu to get away from that thing, on top of the other things that were happening. At which point in time, the morale of the group was not that of continue forward, so I put our survival on top as a more of a priority, and we retreated. Upon coming up out of the prison area into the general plaza, however, we ran, in, we ran into Morav and Cecil, and we headed back down because that emboldened the group enough to give it another try, I guess. I I will say freely, her aura her aura her aura dwarfed that of my matriarch and her being the strongest or one of the strongest on our planet is worrying. Nito so, yes, We was, apprehended yeah. her. We've defeated her before. Sorsha came up, used the thing on her wrist there and just downed her. We didn't know what we had. How much of a fight did she put up when you apprehended her? Not much of one, because Sorsha's good at what she does. <laughs> That's concerning. This isn't a slight to your abilities, but the fact that she went down without much of one, that is concerning. What happened that day? What, was she drunk or high or something? Because I can't imagine that one going down easy. It made sense at the Sorsha. time. Sorsha hit her really hard with a really good weapon. <laughs> I'm I really ran her strong. over with a car and she broke my arm. She caught my bullet. She, but that's what? for future talks. <laughs> <laughs> At that point in time, she... though, we are now caught up to what Marav and Cecil are already well aware of. And she, yeah, she did crush it, didn't she? Yep. She caught it above game, yes. I will note that during the she fight caught it with, and crushed it. I will note that during the fight with Aegis, he was hit with the same device that downed her. And it seems that he has some sort of either protection on his skin or he's not all he appears to be. I don't quite understand what was going on there, if anyone happens to know more than I do. The he sounded came... like a robot man. He sounded a lot like a robot. I'll let man. you make a lord check for T Lock. I was going to say the Force can manipulate and create armor, because I have that ability, but I'll make it. Well, the Force, what you're talking about, less so creates armor, more gives you precog to dodge better. Lore check will be... Where the fuck is my lore? I, gotta I actually got to make one for Sato, too. He does not remember that as a one. <laughs> it's uh, four hours I, I have a 25. So, there is a far-out branch of the force that's not often used due to its ethics but you can manipulate the flesh and alchemy it's basically sith alchemy is usually how it's referred to but recently it's just been referred to force alchemy because well the sith haven't been around what i know and you can use it to make changes improve mm -hmm. diseases a number of things what i know it as may not be what it is now but what I remember it as is Sith alchemy, thinking back on it. it was It's something you can mold your flesh with, something to change what you are into something else, so make it, you so better. It's just a thing he can do and not something that we can exploit. Cool, that's just fucking awesome. Well, it's not something he can do. It's a permanent change, he conducts. Oh. I will, I will say that as well. <laughs> My statement stands. <laughs> I mean, I guess unless we can turn off the force, but I don't know how to do that. I can. Temporarily. 
try to hold pipe up. I think um, it's been done now, so even if you shut off the force, the main changes to the body would still be there. Sorry, but I don't think that'll quite help. In that part. Right. He's uh, going back through his books. He was like flipping through something on his screen to bring it up as you were talking about Sith Alchemy. So if there's nothing out of us about the situation yesterday, because I can't at this moment recall any other important details. Uh, is... How did the robot, it, how did Bully in, in Tinu end up ahead of the rest of the group? I told him was to... Was it just uh, like a go ahead to, to hold back the people, slow them down? or just... I told him to find or navigate the fastest route down and he is one to take point. I guess there was a miscommunication somewhere because I wanted to keep the group more together than it was, but it didn't happen that way. Billy is fast. Um, the robot was extremely fast. Yeah. That was alarming. Yeah. And that's that was the intent for Chani, correct? That was the actual intent? Yes, I have it. I, I, I sent you the timestamp. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to watch the timestamp. I watched through. There was a lot of things going on. A lot There of was a lot of things going got, on. It was an easy miscommunication. And a lot of the rechecks on, do you want to do this, got kind of missed and like, okay, to other things. So it was a bad time. Chao battle is chaotic. Yes. So, he'll give a nod of the head because he just rolled a hell of an insight. And, um, at this, the Master Isha on the side there will lean forward and just, can you. Want to talk about it? Got a slight bit from the reports. Can. We can get there in a moment. I'm more curious. Can you describe the three individuals to me that you ran into? Of the, what you, I believe he, she looks down at one of the data slides they had handed her. Generals. Here, Jimmy, give, give me just a second, and she'll access her little data feeds that I have no reason not to be recording, and bring up a yeah. little video of just like this is this one, this is this one, this is this one. <laughs> Since that one guy appears on camera. She'll point out Solari. This is the one that was dwarfing, as you put it. And there's yes. the scar Sorsha put on her. <laughs> Oh. And this is the one who, even if for a brief moment, held his own against and gestures around the room. Mine is replacing Sato with Rob in this case. In fairness, most of the group here at large was very much under the weather, but yes. We were kind of spent and none of our attacks were really going through thanks to Vincial uh, gesture alchemy, apparently. Sorsha did good. Sorsha did very well. Yeah, so she did. Things were worthless. I'm just, I'm just a support character, my man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little of both. I make you do better. Thank you. Okay. Well, personally, I haven't seen any of the other two, but I do have seen this one, and she'll point out to the Degruvin. We didn't get much of him, but we caught him fleeing from something missing. He... Uh, grabbed it. Force has power of persuasions against the mind, which have been re outlawed since the opening of this organization. And one, I quite frankly, despite my orders, beliefs on it, I will agree with the outlaw of it. You can persuade the mind to do a great many things, and it seems to be he's done that to quite a few groups to do as he pleases. Okay, so we've got a long distance space wizard. We have. Invulnerable man, invulnerable man of a sword, and hit things really hard, chick. <laughs> Basically. Sato's trying to bite back a snort, bite back a laugh at that. Like has like the finger in the mouth, trying not to laugh at the descriptions. Listen, we have to have comedy in dire times, otherwise we all lose because we're all disheartened. <laughs> you have a slight twitch on Cecil's face, but Master Isha is it, it, carved from stone. That's disheartening. I... She has a poker face. So that is damned good. I agree with Chani. In the midst of death, destruction, and peril, we have to find something to keep our minds in enjoyment, lest we give in to our baser nature. Something I'm sure the Jedi can understand, correct? Well... 
Maybe. Well, whatever the case, the next branch of conversation is one I really don't have much of that for. Because you mentioned you wanted to talk about what happened on Ilum. At least stay questioning to well, decently ranked members of our organization all went missing there and presumably dead. Well, what do you, you know so far? The... I got the brief, lo the brief description of your group was involved. One of your members... I believe it was one of your members something happened with? Yes. And in the ensuring battle to keep him from getting off planet, you... Something happened to the temple. A large... That was very big for... Big enough to send an The Grandmaster didn't share many details. He tired quickly that day. I thought we already told you guys this. Well, we told the person that we met at the gate, but it doesn't sound like they repeated all the details. You guys met an old Zabrak at the gate. This is different. Okay. Sarsha, you want to take part of this, or shall I? I mean, I can help with what I remember. Well, do you want to go and then... Know? Well, just, I think it's probably just a review of the entire trip, because that'll probably give us the most information. We weren't really there for whenever something bad happened, happened. Fair. So, the day started off like any other, you know? We woke up, and I think it was Count. It was like, we're going to go to this planet. And I was like, okay, we go to this planet. We go into this temple. I'm like, okay, we go into this temple. Really cold super cold. Joan didn't want to hug. Didn't want to help me get a warm. He was being a little rude. Little, little. He's like that. He was like that. Sorry, Joran. Anyway. You can see on Johnny's face that she wasn't <laughs> expecting this. <laughs> we I'm decided pretty sure everyone at the up. table save Master fucking Risha is going, what the fuck? <laughs> Chaka's messing with a saber on his table right now. We decided to split up, you know? I can feel things. Count could feel things. We decided to go the way that our breath took us. So I went one way, and Count went the other. I don't know what happened with Count. I just know I went, I went. And the next thing I know, I'm in this room. It went and... from Brooklyn to fucking Bayou. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in this room, you know? And I'm not going to tell you who's there, but there's a guy there. He don't like me. We start fighting. Next thing I know, I get a hug from Chani. I'm A-OK. -okay. It's Chani. There's no man there. What's going on? I get a crystal. It's blue. It's very nice. And then... I start feeling something, and I'm like, oh no, I'm scared. What's going on? And they start running towards me, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. So, Chani told me to run. So, I did that. I ran. Next thing I know, Chani and I run into these kids, right? And these are the Jedi's guys. And we leave. Why? And then the mean force that was Count was no longer there. And then Ghost Count came to me and he says, stay Ghost golden. Count. And that's it. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, even from what I know of the story, that's missing a lot. <laughs> that's, that's missing a lot. That's having a hard time. Hold on. Huh. <laughs> oh, shit. I wasn't expecting that accent and all I, that. I don't think anyone was. <laughs> like I said, it went from by you to... And what the fuck? <laughs> I can't do call right now. I'm done. Um, okay, well. So, she was... Okay. Nobody was with counts with the... In whatever. The Whenever we... Event no. that transpired. Joan was with Count. 
But Jordan's not here to tell you that. <laughs> I think I can probably handle the smaller details now, Sorsha. You got the overview out of the way. <laughs> what can I clear up? Everything? Yeah. <laughs> The interaction with the Jedi and the kids I'm interested in, and Count, it seems, you, you... Last I was informed, you had at least a small interaction with him before escaping, or whatever was happening to him. Okay. After Sorsha dealt with, apparently, a person in a room that I didn't see, and she was actually trying to attack me, but we're fine. We... she felt something wrong and decided to get the hell out of the cave system. Along the way, we ran an account obviously overtaken by something. Not himself and with a desire to put an end to us. I sped Sorsha up and held him off long enough for her to get out of his effective range before following suit myself. On our way out of the temple, we ran into the Jedi and the individuals that went with them, the children, and we were given care of the children and we got into our ship and headed out. They went inside to try to deal with him. Do you know what happened after you all left and went outside? Was there any Information past recording. Transmission. Joran did send you a message. It seems that Joran tried to do something. And... Aside from that, I did admittedly send a... Shell toward the entryway in an attempt to further delay it. Because I didn't want that thing getting off planet. You say thing. It wasn't count no more. D I A L. Um, you, Sorsha, I believe. You mentioned a ghost? Yeah. Stop. Count. <laughs> When did you get the ghost of Count, as you put it? When the bad energy stopped. At what point did this happen? There was a boom. And then I felt Count come back, and then he was gone. And then the words you heard, you said some, um, stay golden? Is what you said? I don't know if that's actually what he said. <laughs> stay good, I think. Be good. Something like that. I think good was in the words. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you for sharing. My condolences for the loss, and congratulations on passing the trials of the caves. I'm just glad we got the kids back. And on behalf of the Order, and she'll stand up and give a bow on behalf of the Order, I thank you greatly for getting them safely. <clears throat> Even if the rest of the old fools in the council will not bow head and grieve, thanks. At least I can. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I will say this, you're the first there. Jedi I've ever seen, never met, that has actually given, or ever heard of, really, that has actually given penance. You have my gratitude <laughs> on that. You gotta keep moving forward with the times, so can't stay as static as the rest of the Order or we will disappear. If 
only there were more like you. Well, perhaps my people I have some say in the future. More. We might. Slight bit of distaste at the mention of that, like, not at you, but at probably it's more like oh, the concept of what happened. Oh yeah, it was meant to be a little bit more pointed. <laughs> well, you seem to have a good working gear. Hopefully, it works better for you in the future. I can safely say, as of now, as far as my know, the order itself has no intentions of moving against Dathomir. That's pleasant to hear. That we're not just roped in with the Sith, like old days. Oh, make no mistake, some of them still do, but... They don't hold voice as much as they used to, from what I understand. Not to the world at large. Which is good. I thank all of you for your time. I turns to Sorge and Zani. I thank you for your questions and to the back and I th to back to the other group. And I thank you for the information. I will try to get back in contact when I have some. But I feel I must take my leave and let the rest of you finish your working that you have to do. He'll give a and she'll head out. Head nod as she leaves. A little bit of respect. Small wave to everybody as she leaves. Return to gesture. <clears throat> right. So what All else right. is required of us? Looking to Marav, Sato, and... Uh, Marav's not here. It's only oh. Cecil and Sato at this point. Okay, then those two. I thought he was there as well. Uh, Tenu mentioned the retrieving data from the terminal, right? Mm-hmm. Gonna turn to him. Can I ask what you found in the terminal, then? I will say at this point, Cecil looks kind of like shit. Bag under the eyes, not like he slept a lot. Here we go. <clears throat> Found three calls. Uh, head of security for Raylan Corporation. A few calls throughout the last two weeks between, between that. A hidden number or something. Two calls on the on one of the upper floors. The exact one. Hmm. And uh called a death near about two days ago. I didn't get uh, information on that on that one. Huh. Any of this ring a ring a bell to you guys or Well? Always wanted a reason to slap the irons on the head of security of my, my brother's head of security. He Ooh. seems to trust him, but I do not. And now I have reason to bring him in. And I'll need the location you found him if you could be so kind. The data, of course, not the head of security. I know where to find him. Did you? Hello? Uh, where would I, where would I find it? I was just looking to it more. Uh, it's just, it's just asking if you'd share the location you found the terminal. Alright. Okay. Uh. Well, um, it was mentioned, I believe it was you, uh, Chani. Somebody did some digging on Billy's corpse. Corpse body uh, yeah or so do you have anything up with that you seemed reaching to her back i found a february core <laughs> so you right. can probably repair him in some way shape or form that's what i was gonna ask because i'm not sure of tech yeah i'm probably gonna let packy handle most of it if he's anywhere around shadow's big up he's in the uh lab at the moment he's uh, repairing the claws and body. I imagine... He's been going at it most of the night, upgrading, that kind of thing. I imagine they'll appreciate having a new project. 
really put their skills to the test. You mentioned a call to death, Amir, and you have no information on it. Huh. I know nothing of any calls to my place. I'll have to talk to my matriarch of this. See if she knows. Have you informed her of the situation as it is? I informed her of the three generals. I know not of their intent, nor do I know of anything further than that. I did so last night. Well, well, you've you three, you group already is intertwined with them. Two of you at least have went head to head multiple times. You mentioned the six artifacts that were missing and gone. They weren't the only thing. Billy was part of an old squad of droids made to try to counteract force users. See if we could reduce loss of life with droid combat combatants. Seven individuals in total, all of them fairly extraordinary pieces of work and machinery. Two of them are missing that should not be. Along with the weapons for them. Johnny's just gonna look irritated that whatever it was snuck things out managed to sneak entire droids directly past us. To be fair, you don't know how long they were in there. Yeah. That might have been an earlier thing. Still, though, just the look in the eye. <laughs> Do we have any word on their capabilities? These two droids that are gone? I'm gonna mm. assume similar to Billy. No. Billy was one of the frontliners. The other uh, person towards the front that took hits for people, uh, T1M, was still there. Oh, so they're specialized. We had to, otherwise, from what I understand from the project, and he looks back at Sato, and he just waves him on like, you're going good so far. Come on. Uh, they each it. had a task they were supposed to complete, something to do. If we kept trying to generalize them, it would have... Well, they wouldn't have been able to keep up in the area they needed to. Okay, so what's the specialization uh, to the ones key, that are missing? K, uh, K3LY was a skirmisher. Hit and run. Get in, get a hit, get out. Don't let him rest, don't get him sleep. He wasn't there necessarily to maim or kill. He was there to inconvenience and wear people down. We're less worried about him in this case, though. The real problem is uh, B-A-K-E, or Baker. Baker was the one closest to sentence, and with one of the heaviest pieces of ordnance we've seen for, well, short of Sato's equipment right now. Most of the kills on their missions went to Baker. Long-range strategic sniping. Hmm. It's hard to stop a bullet when you don't know it's coming. Okay. As droids don't show up in the force, from what I understand. Not at all. Unless it's the dead bitch you caught mine. You're not a droid. Yeah, like she wouldn't have much of a problem with him. Well, in that case, uh, Sato, if you're there and available, I think we should probably try to see if there is some sort of weakness we could exploit within the series whenever we're putting Billy back together. The goal is keep an eye out for him. If you get a hank, uh, idea that K3LY is there, you can try and Break him down, but if Baker is supposed to be in that area, caution. Use a lot of caution. Hmm. Especially if they've done something. Do they have any sort of tells? Mistakes they make in the programming or. 
Uh, have a we'll look over it whenever we're putting Billy back together. It'll really give us a chance to run yeah, through it. I don't have that many details personally. That's something you'll have to talk to Sato about. <clears throat> Or, actually, you said you were going to try and fix Billy. If you get him fixed, he's probably a good one. He was in the field with him most of the time. That's going to be first-hand experience, though. But I'm going to see if I can actually crack into the code and see if there's something we could exploit. Because more than likely, if they're going to be utilizing them, they're going to have rewritten the other one. And if we can see how to do that with the one that we have, it should make a base thing for it pretty effective. See what you can do about it then. But hmm. we got a few loose uh, ends to start digging into. Everything showed up and then was just either slightly out of reach or <laughs> there was a a lot of a lot of near misses yesterday. <laughs> it's really annoying. I went down from battle for the first time in a very long time. It was unnerving. Well, yeah, it's like we had to deal with multiple dragons and some captains before we even got near them. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to the Sentinels. This is the job. Yeah, I got the idea whenever I was defusing bombs in the middle of the gas collection on <laughs> Vespin. Hmm. I'm glad you did on that one. Another city going, a full city going down would have been bad. Well, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of people. You'll know, stand up at this point, stretch some, your bones crack and pop. Joints crack you and pop. A, you need a nap. That's where I intend to go. I had stuff I had to do first. Understood. On behalf of the yeah, Sentinels, I thank you for the service you all put in. Those included of <coughs> deal making, or in this case, from Dathomir. We can discuss your request later. There Not is. Not right now. We are. Apologies, my words escape me at the moment. My matriarch told me last night to begin negotiations with your group to benefit both of us. We can do that tomorrow. Later. It's not in, not as important right now. Um, talk to Satellite. You, you guys have earned it. There's a bonus coming your way through all of this. And, uh, hope you can get Billy back on his feet. For what I understand, it was a hell of a unit. <sighs> Seems like we're going to be needing all we can. They're getting more bolts. To say the least. I'm really upset that we didn't know that we had one of their leadership in our cells. Anybody else down there got a secret that they're hiding? Is there anybody else well, down there? There's still some, last I looked. Yeah. Last minute thing, I guess. Some of the Force users have the ability to hide their presence in one way or another, and the best we could tell is, despite the administrations of the drugs used to try to suppress the abilities she managed did, to get so keep some functioning did she have force abilities when i looked at her oh yes oh oh okay. yes well now we know it won't happen again we'll have them um, when favon returns i'll get her down to do a more thorough investigation of people to make sure there's no other ones hiding and favon is the uh, one like me correct yeah, she's a mirror, Luca. She's crazy. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> well, I probably wouldn't say that to her face. I should note this. No, I have. When I did. You take an eye beam to the face usually. I, she hurts. I I should note this, not specifically them, but was anyone assigned anywhere that? Would have been really convenient for this to occur. Or... If there was espionage... Are there any signs that you see? Because I do not believe that this is all brute force. 
Even with the distraction of the dragons. You're right, somebody, there should have been more people left on station. Even if it was a skeleton crew of guards, which we had some, but not what we should have. There were some that we found, but we thought we had rooted a good most of them out, at least. We'd already swept the base, we thought, but well, like the Jedi we seem to have missed some. Like the Jedi Master said, mind manipulation is an easy thing to get away with. We can't assume that that was that, and I would imagine that a lot oh, of them no, would have training not. against that. You can have all the training it's... in the world against it, but still. it can still happen. Get caught off guard one bad day of it. I'm usually particularly pretty good about keeping it out, but even I've been caught off guard by it. And same. Those are bad memories. We'll do more digging, digging to see what we can find. I'm gonna go sleep now. Do that. <laughs> and he's half stumbles out the door at this point. Have a good rest. You guys are now in Sato's lab. It's 11.30. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And we can pick up with what you guys want to do with the rest of the day. We can think about it over this and well, in that get things case, set up. Johnny's just going to kind of look over at Sato and say, there's work to be done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. But sounds helpful for what you got that we can get them back. And right after they finish saying that to each other, I'm going to go and planets to visit, specifically mine, in the long run. Mm -mm. You'll get to talk to him tomorrow. He'll get back to you. Well, I'm not worried about that. The party here at large needs to meet the matriarch. My mother. <laughs> Adopted, of course. Uh, well, I think that Sorsha and Chani are just gonna share a look that says, do we really, though? <laughs> we just met Two you, of you will be in decent bit. The place is... I'm not going to lie, the place is dangerous, but as long as you land in the right areas and go to the right places, you'll be fine. We can't Just... do that. <laughs> sure well, at least two can. of you will be welcome. Matriarch Society. Huh. As long as we land in the Night Sisters zone and not the Night Brothers zone, we'll be fine. Johnny, I don't want to do What's that. What's in the Night Brothers zone? Crazy people who want to kill everything. Well, see how timing goes. There is a lot of work to be done. I know. And I think that I kind of need to be personally present for a wide portion of it. I did say long term. We'll see how things go. She would love to meet you all. I'm sorry, but we just met, man. I can't be meeting your mom. <laughs> That sounds more intimate than I've made it out to be. Hmm. Wait, she didn't exactly add any more words, nor does she attract any. Oh, so you might want to actually wear your vest. You look kind of disgusting up it's... front. I... I... Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where we should end the session. <laughs> yep, that's where we'll end the session. Everybody add 30,000 credits. Woo, money. I'm buying a ship. It'll take okay. more than that. No, a tiny ship is a thousand, ten thousand. That is. Shit, it doesn't sure. feel like goddamn. <laughs> Did you say 30,000? So, yep. I don't think you guys grasp what you just did. At least some of you might. You just fought Drew from the Juveniles, we yes, but still lot. two we insanely fought. dangerous creatures. Several, two of the captains, and two of the generals, and then went back down for round two. And still basically held our own. <laughs> and from what you guys can tell, interrupted a larger operation and set it off early or not when it needed to be. Yeah, exactly, because they were trying to steal the whole fucking shebang. <laughs> so you did a decent bit. Even though everything tastes a failure. <laughs> 
You didn't fail at all of it. You just didn't stop the prison break. It just all tastes of failure. Perfectionist. Sorry. That's fair. All right. Any questions, complaints, concerns, all that? Or is that better off stream? I want more force points. <laughs> no. You just got four more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Three more. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Uh, it's level times two. I don't know what. Three. I don't know what. Sentinels times three. Probably yeah. everything else would be like discussing roles we need to make and things like that. So that's probably just handled yep. off stream. So any closing statements? I had fun. Well. <laughs> What I should got, we name I got ourselves? To, I got to counterspell. <laughs> I got to counterspell fucking ages. It was fun. You guys finally got a combat sequence with agents instead of just talking in hints. And we learned he's resistant to everything. <laughs> Except Sonic yep. and elemental stuff. He also hates Sorsha. I don't I think so. I think you kind of turned him on a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'll be the nice here. You have the insight. It wasn't anything sexual. God, that creeps me out a little bit. No. <laughs> no. It's sizing up a potential opponent. Basically, he respects your martial capabilities. He broke a shoulder bone. <laughs> Good. I hope he remembers that. I'm just a little nothing in leadership position. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey. That's usually no. what's in leadership positions, though. Yes. Don't oh, worry, you'll you do something to catch useful. their attention. Nah. You've already got... You've gotten Aegis' attention. You set him on slavers. That's only because I'm a... Like a bloodhound. Bastard. Call that revenge for killing my buddy. He'll be what fine. Buddy? He didn't kill any of you. His friend killed my buddy. He's not dead. Who never what? talked to me. He was never alive. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Billy isn't dead and was also never alive. I have his... <laughs> He's <laughs> fine. Also not the one in, in fucking charge of that. <laughs> it was the other one. I know. But he hired her, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, closing statement's done. <sighs> Do we know if we're okay for next week? Uh, I should be. I don't think we have anything, do we, Max? No, nah, man, I'm off work next week. We'll see really? Oh we'll shit, back. Saturday, I'm off too! Holy shit! That Look should be that. good as well. We'll see how things go with Robert. They had the sickness today. So, oh, a yeah. until next time, be seeing you. Bye.